Happy Sunday to all you cowgirls, cowboys, cowpokes out there. And after a few requests and a few months passing by, it's time for more Red Dead Online Poker on the PS5. Belfast, how's it going Belfast? Hope you're doing good this weekend along with everybody else. So yeah, we're going to play a little bit of poker in Red Dead Online. And I know last time I think we played on PS5, so we're playing again on PS5. In the future, remind me that the, the next poker stream months from now must be Xbox. So I do apologize to the Xbox uh, peeps, including Belfast. So in the future, it will be an Xbox poker stream. But today we're doing PS5 again. Uh, Yuji, what's up, Yuji? I think Yuji is going to be joining us, hopefully a, a few others as well. But originally I was rotating the, the poker series. I've kind of dropped the ball on that admittedly. But uh, yeah, the next poker stream, like Poker 38, let's make that an Xbox stream in a few months from now. You're scared about Barney? Um, well, Barney Jr.? Well, Barney Jr. is fine for now, Tommy. We won't, I'm not going to touch uh, Darland uh, San Diego until a future uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 stream. So there will be future build-in chill streams. I don't know when we're going to do the next one. Maybe in like two or three weeks from now. Because Sea of Thieves is coming out early access in a few days from now. So I'm going to be focused on that. And uh, by the way, howdy, Kane. How's it going? But fear not. Uh... Darland San Diego is going to be untouched until we get back to it in the next uh, episode of uh, my build and chill stream for Jurassic World Evolution 2. So we'll just continue with Darland San Diego. And by the way, in case anyone's wondering what the what DAR stands for, D-A-R, dinosaurs are real. <laughs> I'm going to make a, make a Darland logo that looks like the Jurassic Park Jurassic World logo. That's my plan. I just haven't got around to making it. Like, I'll get bored one day and have nothing else going on and just jump over on my other computer into Photoshop and then I'll I'll whip together a Darland photo uh, logo. <laughs> but yeah, today we we're playing poker on uh, Red Dead Online. One of the few reasons why we go back to Red Dead Online still is just to go play some poker. We haven't done a fishing stream in forever. I don't know if I really want to do a fishing stream. I, we used to do that too. It was more like a chill stream where we'd just go to like a lake or a river and just fish and chat. And I always wonder if this is going to be the stream where some rando griefer is just going to pop us in the back of the head while we're trying to catch some bass or salmon or trout. But no, well, we're just going to do some poker today. I don't think we're going to bother with anything else. A few months ago, we tried out... I think one call to arms, or did we just goof off with fat? I think we just goofed off with fat at the end of uh, the poker stream. But yeah, poker today, and uh, by request, because some of you keep asking, when's the next poker stream? Well, here it is. You're welcome. So it should be fun, but I do appreciate all of you, my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, along with uh, the mods who do a great job modding, the April 2024 Super Chat Heroes, with their uh, Captain Pete, a Steamboat Willie, Super Chat icons, and of course, all of our amazing members. And if you want to learn more about the membership program, click the join button. Unique badges, emojis. There are you know, obviously perks based off what tier you happen to be, whether you're a junior member, a deluxe member, or a gifted member. But all members get these benefits. Shout outs at the beginning of live streams, inclusion in the about section, well, the description section of live streams, early access to one video a week. You also get featured in the about section of the channel, which also includes the live stream schedule. In case you're wondering when I live stream, just look in the about section. Sometimes I update it. <laughs> Usually I update it like somewhere in the middle of the week or about Thursday it'll be updated because... A lot of times I really don't know what I want to stream until like Thursday. But the About section also has a few cool links. Uh, links to the Vlogs channel where Riley and I do a monthly vlog. By the way, Riley is supposed to be streaming tonight. Yeah, after like a month of not streaming. She's going to do, I think, a Fortnite stream coming up tonight. 8 p.m. Central, I believe. 
And you can also find links to the GB Nation Discord, along with all the members in the About section. By the way, the members include the Elite members, Belfast Gamer, Yuji Outlaw, both of them in the chat, Latino Bunny, Fat Chinese Gaming, Angry Veteran Forge, Deluxe Members, Agilin, ACG, Red the 8-Bit Dinosaur, Dark Matter Wolf, Junior Members, Tokyo Temp, Hutch Plays, Brett, Kane, also in the chat, Icarus, Fernando Martinez, Tyler, Tommy Angelo Jr., also, also in the chat, Sinistar, Eric Bell, Fluffy Wolf, and the Gifted Members. Mr. Grumpy Wombat, Lewis, Sinister RC, John Law, Snake, Proton Jack, UK Gamer, Number One Pinhead, Aaron, Stellar, RR, Miss Kentucky Girl, Chantel, 1070, Ghost Dragon 270, JM58, Jeremy's World, Izuku, Mr. Tay Daniel, Anne's Human, Jose Melendez, Maddie, Ben, King Easy, Kari, Venge, Bob, and Roasty. Gifted members, junior members, deluxe members, elite members in April 2024, Super Chat Heroes, going above and beyond for the GB Nation. All right, so I have a hard drive now for my uh, PS5, and I moved over Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online to the hard drive. So let's see if it actually works. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? But how's everybody doing this weekend? I think I need a little drinky drinky. All right, I'm going to go to the camp and then we'll, I guess we'll get the poker team together. Ah, stop it, Rockstar. Mm. All right, so basically poker stream is me and the boys just uh, chatting, playing cards. Random discussions will happen sometimes. They can get a little edgy at times, not too edgy, but you know, it does happen. And you're welcome to interact in the live chat and even bring up topics in the live chat while we play poker. And why did I put on my AirPods? My headphones, not the AirPods, GB. Think, GB, think. By the way, you know what's sad? I, I bought these Sony headphones like not too long ago. And like the ear the ear section's already peeling off and I get pieces on me. Well it's like Sony just does not make good quality headphones anymore. I don't know why. They used to make really good headphones. These used to be the the headphones I'd get back in my radio days. So I'm probably gonna be in the market for a new set of headphones soon. Like, it's just ridiculous. But whatever. Pretty disappointed. Because, like, these, this model of headphones, I used to use these in radio. And back then, the quality was way better. It's just a disappointment now. All right. So, let's go into the good old Discord. Should be getting joined by UG and Kane soon. I'm already here. Oh, howdy. How's it going? Well, it's going. How are you? Uh, doing good. Uh, me and the wife, we were just discussing where to go for our uh, little trip this year. Uh, what's the uh, candidate so far? Mm, we, we've had a few places in mind, but we haven't like fully decided where we're going to go. She did mention Belfast, and all I just said was, not if you want a divorce. Wow. You won't even go to North <laughs> Ireland for the wifey. Nope, I don't. Look, I love my wife and everything. Like, she's the reason why I put a smile on my face every morning. But I am not going there. Oh. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. Okay. It's not that good either. And hello, Ken. No, hello. Don't knock it till you try it. I tried. I tried it once. You know, you know what like you ought to do. So. You ought to be like, okay, Gina, we'll, we'll go to Belfast, but next time we get to go where I want to go. <laughs> See, that's that's what you do. See, and then and then you can then in the future, if you rip on North Ireland, then you can say, look, I've been there. I gave it a chance. I tried to be open minded about it. <laughs> you hated every fucking minute of us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's sad. 
<sighs> Women, I tell you. Yeah. But anyway. I mean, if you want a real shithole to go to uh, that's in the UK, you should go to London, UG. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's I'd... a that's a proper shithole that is. Look, I'm gonna, I'm not just saying this because you know because of Belfast, you know, you know because he's a friend and longtime member. But look, I think I'd rather at this point give Belfast a chance than London, from what Kane and others have told me. Yeah, well, we. I I did mention the UK, and she just quickly turned around. And she said, "Well, that's out," and I said, "Why?" Because you will spend half the time having drinks with Kane and Mike. And I was like, and? Good, what's, good your, point. what's your that, point? That's the best part. <laughs> what's your point? Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll be a gentleman. I'll at least buy her one drink, you know, because I'm a gent. Yeah. Well, and, first off, yeah. well, first off, she doesn't drink. But, you know. well, well, there you go. I'll, I'll do the snake freezer treatment. I just buy her, like, a random drink from, like, a vending machine and say, hey, here's your drink. Well, well, we could uh, buy Mike another bottle of Schweppes for the laugh. Yeah. Oh God, tonic water again. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be pissing iron out, out of there by the time he's finished down in one of them. <laughs> Fuck Poor <it> bastard. <laughs> I like how Cribs was telling us the Tennessee bank job again. Thanks, Cribs. Oh Jesus. Because uh, I, I, I didn't have to hear it. I know everyone else heard it, but I could just read it. I'm like, oh God, he's saying, he's talking about it again. What the fuck is your Crips wearing, GP? <laughs> he looks like a right daft twat. I don't know. Was that like one of the free outfits? I don't even remember getting that on there. <laughs> I think that's like... Is it one of the Outlaw Pass outfits? Probably, because I never bought him anything. Cause, uh, <laughs> no. Oh, Lord. Uh, Hikari. What's up, Hikari? Why is, why is YouTube pissed, pissed you off today? YouTube pissed me off yesterday at the beginning of my Jurassic World stream because it was putting up the wrong thumbnail. But today it put up the right thumbnail. Oh, yeah, oh, with that. Man, that was annoying. Which um, which thumbnail was it? Uh, it was, was one of the Sea of Thieves stream? thumbnails. Even though, like, uh, but for some reason it's working fine today. Hmm. But usually it's like, hey, you're, you got the wrong thumbnail. And, and I was like, yeah, I don't know what's going on because I, I double checked it. And in the YouTube studio, I had it right. You know what? We're going we're gonna to go all um, basic. We're going to go very basic and just go to Flatneck Station today. I think it's been a while since we've done one at Flatneck. All right. There we're, you go. You know, we get a nice little train, you know, puffing along while we play, you yeah. know? What up? What happened to you, G? He was talking, then he just... Woo! Yeah, I was wondering what happened. I, I didn't know whether it was me or uh, or UG. <laughs> like DC, I was like, oh, oh dear, what happened there? <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll just wait a second. Let me read what Hikari right. has to say. See, I was watching right. a Toyota's onboard stream of a race. I uh, got taken down for copyright violation, even though Toyota's official team streaming. Meanwhile, someone who's streaming the race illegally is still. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of messed up. Like, I mean, if it's if it's a legal Toyota thing, then Toyota's going to get mad at YouTube, so. So that's going to happen. Okay, let's, I guess, uh, let's form a posse. Let me form a posse real quick. All right. And hey, Tommy. Yeah, there, there's trains in the game. Yes, Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, posse. Uh, GB Gay. Okay. There we go. I still kind of remember how to play this. Uh, Jordan, what's up, Jordan? Yeah, same. Like, I think the only time I really play this game now is when either you or Amy are streaming on yeah. PlayStation. Yeah, and uh, by the way, Jordan, uh, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. Uh, you're right, I have been kind of neglecting Xbox a little. So the next poker stream will be Xbox. So... So, yeah, because I just realized it. Like, yeah, we kind of did play... We've been doing just poker PlayStation streams and originally I was rotating <laughs> I guess somewhere along the way like you just forgot <laughs> well okay I'm just gonna say this right here you know obviously okay. several of my friends play on PlayStation you know there's some of some jump back and forth like me from PlayStation to Xbox but it's mm. been difficult for me to actually put together kind of a, a crew you know, like a voice chat crew over on Xbox. Like, Belfast will play, 
But Belfast still hasn't gotten himself a freaking appropriate mic to talk in, in Discord. So it's just like I don't want to sit here just talking to myself. Like I do, I can do that anytime on stream and off stream. <laughs> I'll join you for it. I know. Well, I know you will, but I mean, I would like. My vision was always to kind of build up like some interesting people on both sides of the of the spectrum, right? On the Xbox side and the the PlayStation. But yeah. since, but since my friends, I have more friends I interact with on stream and off stream over here. I naturally just do more stuff on PlayStation. It's not because I think PlayStation's better than Xbox. It really just comes down to, I guess, a pure thing, right? It's yeah. just whatever console you, you happen to gravitate towards because your friends happen to also play on that platform. The Flying Scotsman design is amazing. British stream is better than American. What, what are you talking about? But why, why are you hating on me for? I'm I'm personally offended by that. No, actually, I'm not. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> there, there probably are plenty of really good British streamers that are better than some of the American streamers. Oh, I think he was meaning like Steam, as in like tra Steam trains. Oh, oh, oh! We we talking about old school trains? Oh, come on, the Wild West trains. Man, those were the bomb. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. They could go cross country. Yeah, but don't most of them get robbed? <laughs> hey, that, that only happens. Like, True. Yeah, that happens like every now and then. Oh, where where no. is this collectible at? This, uh, oh, it's up there on the window. I'm getting this because this vinyl yeah. is annoying me. It's up there. Uh, they're not. They're not don't. faster. The UK is like way smaller than the US. Come on. It doesn't even have to go as far. Oh, that's a very nice coat you got there, UG. Oh, very, thank you, good sir. Very appropriate. <laughs> thank you. For thank today's you. Today's adventure. <laughs> Man, we we squabbling over different types of trains. Then Yuji's like, "Uh, I'm somewhat of a train expert myself." Just because I have Train Sim World Four doesn't make me an expert, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Thomas the Tank Engine's epic. <laughs> that it is. That was. That's basically my childhood. Ah, oh, same, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it, here's the thing. Like, my parents, they basically refused to show me like the latest series, so they just maybe grew up with the original series of like Ringo Starr. Oh, there's another and collectible. Good idea. Because it's oh, gonna keep. It's one? gonna keep vibrating until I find it. The ones on the windmill. I think the other ones over here. I think that's the way it's always been. Oh yeah, yeah, it's at that box. It's just annoying. Like it used to be, I would just go crazy over collectibles back in the day. But now it's just. Now it's an, uh, I only collect it because I want the vibrating <laughs> on the controller to stop. Yeah. All right, I think that's good. Who's been hurt? Edward Edward was built the same time as Red Dead Two. Is that another train? Oh, oh yeah, that's like the number two train from Thomas. Mm. I, I know my Thomas Law. He was also <laughs> he was also like one of the first proper trains that like I think the guy who wrote the original books like introduced. Okay. So he was the first official train in the Thomas series. Oh. That's epic. That's amazing. And he wasn't even number one. Yeah, he was number two. So no wonder he was shit. <laughs> ah, and come uh, on, don't rip on my I'm boy joking. Edward. I'm joking. He, I love him still. <laughs> and as with tradition with every poker stream, I turn the webcam off. Ha! No! God it's damn gone. it! No! Well, I mean, I mean, technically, I, I don't have to anymore because, like, whenever I moved the webcam from the right side to the left side, it that was the main reason why I did it was because on mm -hmm. the on the right side. There was like the chip numbers and pot and all that stuff. And why is it that there's only a blank screen? Uh, uh oh. I, I go. I went just... into a private game to start a private game, and all I've gotten is the abyss, which is pretty much Red Dead Online. I mean, UG, do you see anything on your end? Just a just a black screen, my friend. Because I see, like, the uh, the table. We're all sitting down. And uh, we're all... I don't see a table. I see a dark abyss that awaits us all. All I can see is my reflection on my screen. Am I going to have to start over? Oh, boy.
I, 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 I think because there's not look, there's not even an infinite loading screen logo. Like this is a uh, yeah. I, I think one, we need uh, to pull out on this um, one. Lads. Okay, let me start over. Take two. Abort. <laughs> Abort. Abort. Right, I pulled down the webcam <laughs> too quick. Let's see. Jordan says we like people calling Samantha from Call of Duty Sammy Bear. Well, I'm, uh, Kane's I, the I, expert I, on COD, not me. So. I mean, maybe Cold War Samantha, but I've never heard anyone say that uh, before, Jordan. Yeah, that's a now, first for if, me, too. Now, here's the thing. If you're on about Samantha from World at War to BO4, she is a literal child. That's all I'm going to uh, say. Take that as you will. Using the Sammy Bear nickname. I, God. I'm, Let me uh, call I Chris Hansen. Honestly, I have speed no dial. idea. Because I'm not... I, I know some basic COD characters like Rick Toffin and uh, Pierce, or no, Price, yeah, Price, and uh, and Ghost, mm. and uh, there's a few others, but I'm not an expert. The only reason why I know that stuff is because Riley and Kane talk about it all the damn time. <laughs> oh, come like, on. It's like, oh, what, what's you your favorite know? zombie map? And, oh, oh, I really like this one with Rick Toffin and, and the other guys. I'm like, oh, okay. And my favorite map's the one with David Tennant. <laughs> He's there for five seconds. Yeah, that one. He's like, it. Bloody hell, beans on toast, I'm the doctor! And there's fucking zombies! Mm. <laughs> uh, so, when it, when it comes to, to COD talk, I I just sit here and, and just listen and be like, okay. And then, then you occasionally say, "Oh yeah, my favorite map's the one with the with the funny people on." <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the my AI favorite. presidents people like to use. Yeah, the, some of those are kind of funny. I, I've listened to oh, a few yeah. of those. Oh yeah, I've been watching some of them, like <laughs> especially them doing like uh, games like Hell Divers or <laughs> Black Ops Zombies. Yeah. Just funny. All right, well, I'll just wait here at camp again. We can start this whole sad process again. Or should I just go ahead and go to back to Flatneck and just start it and then well, invite you? Uh, I'm already joining you, so right. um, I guess I'll join you on your adventure to the, the building. All right, let me... I'm uh, loading in myself. God, this is so, such a deja vu. It's like I just did this a few minutes ago. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> you did. <laughs> If Matt Damon made a Sir Nigel Greeley biopic, that would be fine. Uh, who's uh, Kane? Who's Sir Nigel Greeley? Um, I mean, uh, do you know? I I don't know. I I have no idea who that man is. So I'm I'm a, I'm a just I'm a lay down right here. I have no idea who the I, fuck Toby's on about. I don't know and. I don't know. It, you, it, I mean, I'm not trying to stereotype, but it sounds like some British dude. But Matt Damon's not British, and he can barely act, so I think that wouldn't it be better if he actually hired a British actor? I'm just saying. He built the Flying Scotsman. And, oh! Gordon the Blue Engine. Okay, so he's is he, he's not the writer, he's the guy that built them, or something? Doesn't he mean, like, Nigel Gressley? Aye. That's the guy who built that engine. Maybe he just accidentally, maybe he mistyped it. Maybe that's what he meant. Uh, maybe. I, maybe. I, I don't know. You know we what? don't know let's, things. Let, 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 let's just go to the poker station. Yeah, <laughs> let's just go to the poker station. Our brains are, are too rotten for this, like, intellectual talk. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's Sunday for crying out loud. Can I have at least a day off? Yeah, I mean, if God can have a relax. day off, I want a day off, you know? Alright, which, okay. <laughs> Since I don't play this game anymore. Alright, uh, I think, no, we're, we're heading the wrong way. Uh, but we can, we can follow the train line. Because the train line oh, is, <laughs> we're close by the train. Alright. I think if we hang a left, it'll take us. Let's see if we can get oh. across the bridge without getting ran over by a train. I'm checking the map right now. Yeah, you're going in the right direction. Yeah. Well, Jordan, I just come across AI videos every now and then. Sometimes they make me laugh. Sometimes I'm like, okay, that one kind of sucked. But 
Like, there's there's a lot of different channels I watch. Like, right now, I've been watching a few Jurassic World Evolution channels. Well, one in particular, Evo. She's pretty good. Hmm. Hey, Red. Hey, Red. Hello. Hi, Red. Hello, GP. How's it going? Cool? Well, it's going. We had to restart the game because we got uh, an Abyss screen. Well, Kane got to see the table, but Yuji and I got nothing but the Abyss awaiting us. So we had to restart oh, the game. Great. We're off to a good start today. Yes. We're at the yeah, line hard see. at work. Yeah, you see, the game is working as intended. As we trot across <laughs> the PewDiePie bed, bridge, as Kane calls it. Alright. Must fight the urge to be unfunny like PewDiePie was on that CSGO stream. Hold it in, Kane. Hold it in. Yeah. Hold back. Okay, yeah. Oh, no for, fortunately the train's going the other way instead of towards us, so this worked out pretty well. Die, train! <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you're gonna get us a one. <laughs> oh, oh shit, I probably shouldn't shoot. I forgot how, like, fucking frightened the NPCs get yeah. when you, like, breathe mm -hmm. in this yeah. game. You get one for, little, for the little things. You defend yourself in this game, and you get, All like, right. five stars. Alright, let me start the game real quick. Oh, here's a rando. Hi, rando. Are you gonna kill us? It's a rando. Or are you just gonna run up on us? Oh, he's gonna give me a hug! Oh, how sweet. <laughs> Fuck off, Why? buddy. buddy <laughs> Why would you be so stupid to run up on three <laughs> random players? Bro got fucking shredded. <laughs> oh, he's a level six. Oh, how cute. Excuse, excuse me for just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Kane! Oh, it's awful. <laughs> that, don't awful. don't some trains have dash cams now? I mean, I've seen some videos like the live feed channels. Like, there's some really nice ones that have, like that travel like there's like one out in California that that has a really nice like route, and I think I've seen one in Europe. So, there are trains that that have that, uh, Tommy. Get out of here. <laughs> just running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here laughing about this it. Is a, this is a good way to start the poker stream. Yeah. Just bullying a low Ooh. level. Oh, yeah, Let's see if I can that's... pop him. I don't know what... It, 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 no, he's going, on the, he's going on the other classic. side. Okay. Oh, here he comes. Come on, buddy. That's Come over that's here. That's Give that's us a that's hug. That's 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 that little man. Get out of here! <laughs> oh, <laughs> your YouTube. Rev oh, I was gonna say you should have re should have revived him. Should have got up and revived him. My, my bolt action. Press <laughs> 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 fucking charge against you. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do miss this game. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Token, you wish. Really it you have Most people wish they had the, at least a day off. But it seems like these days you don't really get a day off anymore. Because there's always something happening. You guys like my uh, my gift? It's a nice gift. Ooh, very it's nice. My, my new friend. <laughs> my friend. What I'm going to let Red have his fun. Doing? Is, this how, is this how bored a low level is? He's already got the point now where he's like, ah, I'm already bored of this game. <laughs> Let me go run into a, a gang of players and see what happens. It looks very... He looks very peaceful, he does right now, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He looks very peaceful. Does he still have his head? Yeah, I I'm surprised y'all haven't done something about that. <laughs> he had his head. <laughs> he had his head. Yeah. <laughs> he had his fucking head. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we'll go play poker now and hopefully pay play poker at Flatneck <laughs> instead of a abyss screen like a moment ago. You miss Abigail? Um, well, at least someone does. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Yeah. That was a nice little encounter. Yeah. He just runs upon us and we just, like, sh put him into a shredder. Well, I mean, I guess they were just bored. I, I don't blame them. Welcome to Red Dead Online, good sir. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. Host a private game. Can I please get a private game instead of a... A black screen. Please. Okay, okay, I think it's gonna work this time. Alright, uh, goodbye webcam till the end of the stream. Yeah. 
Well, I only do this, still do this because it's tradition. Because I mean, I no mm. longer cover up anything on the right side. Because yeah, I, whenever I'm, but I don't I care. So sometimes, you know, I, I like to take down the webcam, and this is my excuse too. Yes. All right. Okay, there you go. All right. Yay! I'm gonna send out invites. I don't know if anyone's gonna join us, but if it's just us four, then that's fine too. All right. So it's time to time to play. But anyways, what's everyone up to today? What y'all want to talk about? What's on everybody's mind? I, mm, besides, besides, I don't know. It's, it's a boring Sunday, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I hear you have, like, a lot of protests going on in Colombia right now over your president. Yeah, because of, yeah, because the president is a moron. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Oh. oh, you have one of those, too? Yeah, me, too. Yeah, well, at least he's like a cheap version of Elon Musk. That's, that's all I have to <laughs> wow. say. But he's just, he's just a leftist. So it, anything that you do to him is like he takes it personal. Even like I I, I know these protests, he's gonna he's gonna take them personal and he's gonna make he he's like a child, you know. If you have like something nice uh, and if you do a protest, he has to make a bigger one. He's, again, he's like a child. So. Yeah, that sounds like it. Uh, no, Tommy, uh, Red Dead Online does not have crossplay. So, are you talking about Minecraft? Because, yeah, Jordan's talking about Minecraft. I, yeah, okay, yeah, I think, I think Jordan's right. I think, I think you can play Minecraft on any platform. I, I've never played Minecraft. I know Kane used to play it. Yeah, well, yes, depends. But the, the, the crossplay version is utter garbage. Most crossplays are. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I miss, like, the world we had where the funny hole was at. Like, we had, like, a, a funny hole for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, yeah. In last time, I decided to just rob everyone and <laughs> make my own... Yeah. Just to make my own house. <laughs> nice. That was epic. <laughs> Alright. Very I'm... intense game of poker, lads. Yep. I'm nice. on the edge of my seat right now. In this amazing game. Alright. You guys excited for the Telegram missions later this year? Oh, like, yeah. Save the game. I'm, I'm excited oh, when they yeah. bring back Halloween yeah. Pass 2 for like the fourth time. Oh, dude. I've, I've been so, waiting so long for it to come back. It's so, like, oh, I just can't wait for it to come back. Best, like, pa pass of all time. Yeah. Because the only fucking pass that returns. It's because I think it was technically the last pass, so they still have it. Yeah. And they just keep <laughs> looping it every Halloween. It's so fucking lazy. I mean, at I the know. very least, you could bring back Halloween Pass 1, but they won't even bother. Yeah. They won't even. Like, I, I feel really bad for newer. I mean, I know we were having some fun with a newer player a moment ago, but they started it, so they got what they deserved. But I do feel sorry for him in a way that he doesn't get the opportunity to to get some of that content that was in the outlaw passes. Yeah. I remember correctly, there was a lot of good stuff in like some of the previous passes. Like free supplies, free um, outfits. There were some good some weapon skins. skins. Yeah, there's also a unique um, interior for the uh, bar in the uh, Moonshine Shack. Yeah, I remember. That was like um, Halloween Pass 1, I believe. Yeah. Because I think it was the, the Gothic uh, yeah. bar decor. Yeah, it's a really cool interior, oh, yes. but unfortunately, you're not going to get it if you didn't get it. <laughs> it's never coming back, boys. Nope. <laughs> it's like, see ya. The, the only technical property we're ever gotten in the game, and I don't even really consider it to be our own personal property because Maggie lives there. Well, let's kick her out and that French con out as well, and we can have our own property. I yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone speaking of that, my properties video. Someone left a comment earlier this morning. Let me find oh. it real quick. Okay. I wonder what it's gonna be. I want to <laughs> Yeah. Houses. Hold on. Let, oh, me, dude. <laughs> let me bring it. Let me read it real quick. I have to go back to the comments. Let's see. Oh yeah. This aged well. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna heart that comment. There you go. <laughs> it did age well. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> incredibly well. 
<laughs> that sucks because, like, because you look at it in 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 hindsight, yeah, it didn't work out. But back then, you know, we we had evidence that Rockstar at the time was working on properties. You know, there was a code and everything, mm-hmm. and so we were all excited, like, yeah, we're getting properties finally to spend golden cash on. But yeah, no. we could finally spend um money on something. Mm, yeah, we didn't even get that. But what else? But we got a bulker, that's all we need. Yeah, they didn't even have blackjack or five finger fillet or dominoes. Like addition yeah. additional mini games they could have just peppered in. Or at least it disabled the fucking collectibles in the in the damn poker thing. Like my controller is like do this like it always like has this vibration. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it keeps yeah. vibrating it's... like it's a fucking vibrator. <laughs> yeah, well at it's, the beginning yeah, is... like I, I even collected the, the two collectibles nearby because that was annoying me. Yeah, I can see why. I can feel why. That's what... <laughs> It's Wait, is it still it's vibrating? Or no, no, is it not yeah. Yeah. anymore. Oh, it is. In my oh case, my god! Yes, it's still there. Oh my god! No. Well, see, that's that's why I collected them before we started, because that shit's annoying. <laughs> yep. Uh, Jordan, why are you why are you sending photos of live chat to your dad? That that seems kind of weird. Uh, well, what? Okay, is your is your dad just he wants to know what's going on in live chat? What the Fuck. It's pretty pretty I mean, exciting. Uh, um, it's just it's four dumbasses playing poker. That's no, that's no. He's talking about live chat. Thing. He's not talking about this. Oh, it's, oh. Just, it's just Jordan live and chat. Tommy talking about Minecraft and Red Dead and Skyrim. So I mean, that's well, real exciting. That, riveting. That's just that's just odd. Not in general. It's just odd. It's like, uh. what, what are you doing, son? Yes. Uh, uh, I, I'm seeing some uh, 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 random <laughs> demon screaming. Let me, you send me, let me screenshot the yes real quick, lads. <laughs> Let's I, I, do I that. I see screenshotting something like I used to screenshot like really edgy comments from randos or other things that have come up of controversy, but just normal conversation. It's like okay. Like what yeah. level of not of what low level of trust did you have that you? Uh, it's like, okay, send me uh, evidence. I don't believe you, but you know. Uh, maybe it's just, I don't know what, what that's about, but okay. That's weird as fuck. So, yeah, that's. Um, okay, you do you, buddy. Yeah. Alright, well, you know what? Because maybe. it's one of them streams, let me open up the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's one of them days. Yeah, yeah you know what? That's actually not a bad days. idea. Yeah, I'm All just right. gonna stick with my tea because I don't drink. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have my cup. Yeah, I got me some Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. Jesus Christ! I need a Sunday. All right. Hey man, check. it's somewhere. It's five o'clock. You know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good well, point. Like what Iceland? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Iceland. I mean, it was ice o'clock. I mean, it was five o'clock. Like a. <laughs> An hour ago. <laughs> for you, yeah. Yeah, for me. But if you go by, and UG I guess as if well. you go by time zones, I think maybe it's like four or five o'clock for Iceland right now. Maybe. <laughs> I could have a. I guess I could have a look real quick. Yeah. So you have Red Dead Online. Well, I mean, this is the only time we really play Red Dead Online anymore. Jordan is to play poker. Yeah. We used to play it a lot, but we kind of gave up after Rockstar abandoned the game. But then we get comments, Red Dead Online's not dead! Oh, okay. okay. I bet, bro. <laughs> it's yeah. not like um, the game's had no real updates since 2021. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, Riley and I were watching that a video, I forgot the name of, of the YouTuber, he, he did a video about Red Dead Online. And he made a good point about how 2021 was the year Rockstar basically, like, uh, killed Red Dead Online by de- decisions they made. Was it 2020 or 2021? I think it was 2020. I, I think it was a mix of both, to be honest. Because, um, yeah. like, 2020 was like... I mean, yeah, it didn't feel like it at the time, because we actually got, like, you know... I mean, Naturalist was okay for what it was. I mean, 
it's still shit. Right. But I mean, it's better than what came after it, personally. Yeah, I need to look up that guy's name because he did a good video. But like, he made a good point that like, if and I think I made this point in the past, like if Naturalist came with something else, like bigger, like heist robberies, like you've been talking about for years, mm. then it would have been fine because it would have been like a little side thing. But for it to be like the main thing as an update, that just wasn't what the community wanted. So I think that's the problem. It's like Reddit Online had all this like comments from people, right? On their social medias, videos, feedback, fans telling them exactly what we wanted and they didn't even bother listening. I mean, all they had to do was just release a fucking roadmap. <laughs> No, just sit there and look at, okay, what does the community want? Okay, what does our community want this game to be? Okay, they want heists and robberies and properties. Cool, let's do that. Not, not even just that. Maybe get, like, a community manager, you know, to interact with the community online. Yeah. yeah. It seems like they, like a lot of uh, games have that. I mean, they do seem to do a little bit better in their social medias now, but that, that's mainly focused on GTA, though. Yeah. And especially you take some cringy pictures with a lot of saturation. <laughs> yeah. That's what you oh, do. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you do it out of the map as well. <laughs> Does anyone remember that time where they, like, reposted a picture where someone was in Mexico? And they were saying, oh, look at oh, this yeah. lovely new Austin picture. <laughs> yeah, was that like, was hilarious. Um, I, the moment I saw that's that That's not new Austin, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that because as someone who, who's done a bit exploring outside the map and made a few videos about it, I sat there going, like, yeah, <laughs> that's not New Austin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit south of New Austin. I, I guess it, it's like Loki Rockstar telling people that they don't give a shit if people like sneak across the San Luis. Yeah. Like, if that's the case, so. then why even keep the dead water around? Just let people like swim around around the... The San Luis and the Lanahatchee to the other side. Like, it doesn't they harm anything. It, they could have left left us keep the Bouncy Bridge, too. In the Bouncy Bridge, yeah. I remember when Red first discovered the Bouncy Bridge, and we started having so much fun bouncing off that damn thing. And, of course, Rockstar would patch that. That was so sad. Hmm. <laughs> One of the worst things Blood Money ever did was patch that. Yeah. So we, we can never forgive Blood Money for doing that. <laughs> I agree. Right, after this, I'm going to collect that this stupid collectible. These vibrations. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's back on the It's still going. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's, why, that's why I did it before we started, because that shit's annoying. Uh, Dark Banner Wolf, what's up, Dark Banner Wolf? I see, uh, Jordan, you're going to awesome. change your YouTube name? Yeah. Well... If you're going to change it to, to StarCraft, then your channel should be about StarCraft. Or if you even are making content. If you're just changing it to change it, that's fine. I mean, bright side, unlike a lot of people, you're actually getting a heads up about this name change, GB. So that's good. No. <laughs> I mean, I get that. I mean, it's, it's fine to go by that. I mean, it, it does suck we haven't gotten a new StarCraft in a while. But I don't think we're ever going to get another StarCraft. Like, those days are long gone. See, Tommy says, Kane, I found Gordon. The blue engine got replaced by a diesel engine after making fun of Edward in the 30s. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. You, you nice. know what? I, I don't know. <laughs> My favorite part of <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine was when Thomas came off the rails and fucking died. That was my favorite part. <laughs> Jesus Christ. N nice. Cinders and ashes! Oh. I'm in a fucking muddy pond! Well, Jordan, as long as you're happy with the name, that's fine. It doesn't bother us. <laughs> Good. That's the type of, of stuff that you say. Nice. Anyways. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honky <-wonkies>. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Well, this calls for a drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I will say this, Jordan. At least it's not a. At least it's not one of these edgy names. So I, I do give you uh, props for that. I was, oh god, he's going to get the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's going to go grab the collectible. <laughs> I don't, I don't no, like just that. Just, so just a having fair the warning, controller constantly vibrating is just annoying <laughs> as hell. 
There were like yeah. there are two cards outside, by the way. So uh, yeah. yeah, just heads up. Yeah, one's I'm... on the windmill, and one's behind the uh, yeah building. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Just regarding like... StarCraft, I think I, I used to really love RTSs back in the day. And I, I remember playing one. I forgot which StarCraft I used to play, one or two. It's been that long. But it, it's a shame that... I know I know StarCraft 2 has had, had support forever. Like, there used to be, like, what, pro teams that would play StarCraft 2? But I don't know if they still do or not. Okay, can you send me an invite? I got that stupid card. Uh, yeah, right, we'll do that. We'll, we'll send you invites. Thank you. Thank there you go. You. All right. Stupid game. Like, they should did, just... Well, did hey, you grab both of them, though? Uh, no, I just got one. Right. I don't feel more vibration, though. Okay, so. well, I think the one... As long as you got the one behind, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotta love those those random <laughs> like those random characters just replacing your original character on the invites so yeah. now you appear like a bl just basically a black thing i don't know if that's human or what or or if some north american mythology thing and and kane looks like the joker yeah there you go yeah i live in a society mm. <laughs> Uh, ah, Batman, we live in a society. Jordan, not bad news. I doubt Blizzard's ever going to make StarCraft 3. They're too busy with Overwatch 2 and and trying to save Diablo 4. <laughs> so they're trying to save two burning barns. Oh, yeah, and they also right. have World of Warcraft, so they have that, too. So. They, they don't have time for that, StarCraft. How old is that game now? Like, wow. Like the, about... Like, I bet I bet that game is older than a lot of people playing video games right now. Much. Isn't that, <laughs> that would surprise me. That's crazy. There's pe there's there's gamers alive today as I get my full house. Yeah, that's you see, right. Goddamn, decided to just yeah obliterate the whole table with yeah. the full house. Bro, enjoy, activate enjoy the tactical the nuke. But, enjoy the thirty six cents. That is crazy though. There's there's people out there that are <laughs> have been alive for as long as uh, Warcraft's even like War World of Warcraft's been around longer than they have. Oh, boys, I'm up so happy. I'm older than World of Warcraft by three years. Yeah. That's epic. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's... I was born when games were good. Yes. Right. <laughs> of course, uh, for racing badly. What? Oh, why do you like like well? That's something that I will explain briefly. That's basically a simulator, a racing sim. Uh, yes. I would. I would. You I would be too. like Schnakers and crash into the wall within like a few hundred feet. And, and then rage quit and go on to GTA. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. I, comp I complain about all the games needing to update, even though he should have updated them prior to streaming. <laughs> that's yeah. still funny. Yeah. That's, that's what is that that working? <laughs> I thought he was like, he was playing random games. I saw that in the morning and mm. I was like, okay, he was playing. Mm. I thought he was just raging, complaining as usual. But it's yeah. just six hours of GTA. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's a bit. Sad. I was expecting like, to see more than GTA Online, but fair enough. Yeah. I I think like the first twenty minutes of the stream is him trying to get on Gation Impact and Fortnite, <laughs> but they both need oh, updates. God. <laughs> so yeah, then he well, fucks off the GTA. <laughs> well, Snakers, look, some of these games actually have weekly updates, not like GTA, which is maybe twice a year. <laughs> No wonder he plays GTA all the time. Yeah. It never needs to update. <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me check real quick. Because okay, when I checked it out, it was like six hours of him just playing GTA. Like it's just like, oh well, this is a bit misleading right here. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, then he switches. Downloaded the resource package required to start the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, retail while it's twenty years old. Damn, that is old Jordan. That is, a, I will give Blizzard a props. Like keeping a live service game around that long, and it's still profitable. That's that's pretty impressive. Uh, I I have the I have the the king of of old games. Whatever quest. Havel. 
have a hotel. Our, our second life. <laughs> yeah, like, like those are basically the, the first, the, basically first interactive game. You play have a hotel or yeah. or second life or all that stuff. I had a friend that was really into second life and he tried to get me into it because him and his wife were into it. And I just didn't get it. I'm like, I tried it for a few hours. And I'm like, yeah, this this isn't for me. <laughs> this was a long that time ago. There is literally people. There is literally people that that actually met together and got a relationship on a, on a game like those. Yeah. It sounds crazy, but it it, well, it exists. There's, there's also a horror story. At least one out of Korea where, like, this couple, this married couple, they were young and they were gamers and they were just so into second life that they neglected their baby and sadly it, it died i think i've talked about that a few oh, years ago jesus jesus christ that's how addicted they were both into second life that they just neglected their poor child and it died oh fuck but man games can be addicted well, well as you with all with what you said Goddamn. No. There we go. Man, that got pretty dark. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah, does anyone have a light? <laughs> yeah, let's let's find a new topic. Uh, let me think. I, I had a topic. Like, what was that I was going to bring up? It was something... Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about Yuji's... Uh, by the way, Yuji, congrats on your your 12 hour stream the other day thank you very much so i jumped into his stream when he had been taking a he took a little break to go get something to eat and he was playing some old red dead online i'm like what what's he doing why is he playing red dead online and and he was interacting with the chat yet it wasn't the live live chat i'm like what what's is this a youtube issue because i thought it was my phone and then and then i pulled it up <laughs> on my computer i'm like like he like what's going on here? Like I was, I was feeling confused, and then he came back. I'm like, oh, he was, he was eating. Okay, so I was like, what the mm. fuck? <laughs> you see, that's, my that's idea. Actual... You see, my idea was because I knew I was going to have to take an extended break to get something to eat or whatever, and my initial idea was uh, download the very first stream I ever did and put that up as an intermission instead of dead air. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I that's, think it that's better. I yeah, but it was yeah. so weird though because you were being so nice to people. Like I heard you, be, right. you were being you're, yeah. you're not as nice as you used to be to people. Because <laughs> then you're, you're being nice to <laughs> Snake. You're being nice to Fat. <laughs> I'm like what? <laughs> what? What? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, what is this? And then I looked at your goal and your cash. I'm like, did you start a new character in, on Xbox or something? Because I was like, <laughs> it, it felt for a moment. I don't know why, but I felt like I'd fallen in a time tunnel or something. Like, <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> the dimensional merge happened early. You were thrown into the time vortex. And, the, and then once Gigi oh, came oh. back, it was like, oh, okay, I, I get it now. I get it. <laughs> Oh, I, I think GB was just waiting for the lines of, you know, I was going to rip Snake a new one or fat a new one, and GB was going to go, it's okay, he's back. <laughs> Everything's yeah, cause, okay. Because you were actually being nice to him, like, <laughs> what? Uh, this, this, this must have been like when, when you were first getting to know them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even Gina was confused. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I saw a few things, because when you started, I was going to work. And right. So I just went, I just saw a bit. But, like, you played all, like, a, like a fuck ton of games, like Helldivers. And few they played a lot of Helldivers. Yeah. <laughs> How is it? Uh, it's all right. Like it's it's a good bit of fun, but it's not going to be one of those games I'm going to invest a lot of time into. Yeah. Like, I mean, I still have it. Like, I might play it, like, every now and again, but I can't see myself, like, hardcore diving into it. But it's fun. Yeah, it just seems like one of those games that's more fun with friends. Let's see, it Jordan. Uh, yeah, Jordan, we're not really... None of us are really in a while. So, I mean, I mean, have fun with that, but none of us really care for a while. No. I've never... To be honest, I've never played WoW. <laughs> You want to play Red Dead Online with us, Jordan? <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> now, he already said he has Red Dead Online, though. Oh, good. But we don't really play Red Dead Online either. We just come in to play poker and talk talk trash. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, can't, I can't wait for the it, call to watch. It, it, and have a little I fun with myself. randos. Guys, <laughs> so we need to do a sale real quick. Like, Red mentioned sales, so we need to Fuck do a sale. That. I'm not doing this sales. Sales, I've done guys. enough sales we in this game. Sales. Come on, Nick. We gotta help the man. We gotta grind. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I saw another Rockstar's comment. Rockstar's releasing like a... a new update next week. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was another comment of, on a previous Red Dead Online video where somebody was asking me why I had so much cash and gold. I was gonna reply to them, but I didn't get around to it. I'm like, it's like, because I, cause I used to play the damn game all the time. That's why I have cash and gold. We used to be enthusiastic about this game. Oh, you have yeah, it on no, Steam? We just... Okay, yeah. Well, well, I don't... Look, Jordan, let me give you a warning about Red Dead Online or GT Online on PC. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the Wild West of uh, peer-to-peer rock star crash. <laughs> and that is no pun intended. No, it's not. It's, it's not a safe place for gamers. And Rockstar's got to do a better job. But I'm, I'm hoping that they move to... To dedicate servers for GTA 6 online, but yeah, that that's why I used to play Red Dead Online and P GTA Online on PC. But after some experiencing some hacks myself and horror stories about people being doxxed and DDoSed, I I said no. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember the time you got teleported while you were doing a oh, sale. Yeah. That happened a few <laughs> times. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It's like, what the fuck? Not again. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just trying to sell my moonshine. <laughs> uh, Kari, what's up, Kari? Gotta make a moonshine sale for the billionth time. Yeah, no thank you. Yeah! I'm, I'm good. I'm True. good, Marcel. Hey, Marcel, I have an idea. Go do it yourself! <laughs> Having those cheap moonshine bottles that breaks if you just hit a little bump. Mm-hmm. Amazing grinding on Red Online. Nah, that is, screw that. That is not as boring as GTA Online. Well, they, they are both are awful. So. Uh, come on, Red. Well, we got we got to do Kaya Perico for the fifty billionth time. Or Stuart's gonna like be getting angry at us for not doing Kaya. Yeah, and he, he won't leave you a Stuart like. Yeah, he won't leave you a Stuart like for not doing Kaya. That, uh, hold on, that almost <laughs> breaks my heart if I had one. I know. Yeah. I, I don't think Kane has Roblox, Jordan. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I don't <laughs> no. play that. I, I'm, I do not want to get on like some sort of register. Yeah, no. <laughs> like my friend like, Agilin, like, like she used to stream a lot more than she does now. At the time, she primarily did Dead by Daylight, but then she did dabble in Roblox a little bit, and that didn't last long because all the kids were just annoying her in live chat. And she got, she was trying to be nice about it, but eventually she just stopped playing Roblox because of it. <laughs> and I was just yeah. sitting there reading the live chat, I'm like, no, no, I'm never playing anything like this. No yeah, thanks. <laughs> I, I just can't sounds do like, it. Like our experience, sounds like the experience of Rec Room. Yeah. Wait. Oh, you, I wait, loved Rec Room. Kane and, and, and Riley. Both of them. Were like, <sighs> Oh god, right. Right, do you remember like a few years ago there was that one guy who just wouldn't fuck off? He kept following us and he kept like saying he was protecting us or some shit, even though he's like just annoying oh, us. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember that. He was like, protecting I, I remember having a good time. <laughs> I, I just remember because like halfway through the stream, like fucking Ben started getting pissed off at the dude as well. <laughs> and Ben barely gets pissed off. <laughs> 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 like all those games are just absolutely I mean, I mean, like if you want to find yourself in a in a better intellectual position than anyone else just go to one of those social games and there yeah. you go see Jake says somebody had 10 billion in GTA 10 there's no way they, they earn 10 billion like legally or legitimately if they've the earned only, it legitimately, the only one that has this, the spoon business. That no I have. way. <laughs> I, if they've legitimately, in quotation marks, earned that money, 
Hey, dude. I. Um. I know like, of. Let me get a McDonald's like application out for you, form for you. Um, yeah. Let's try and find you like a, a you know a girlfriend or a boyfriend. You know whichever what, you prefer. Or whatever friend. You know, let's yeah. let's like you know try and get you something social. I, I know that. What? I know some people have actually earned a billion, but that took forever just to earn a billion. And I'm, I'm, I, I just, I don't know. I mean, that's, I mean, you'd have to have basically no life to, to grind up to 10 billion. But then you have to ask yourself the question, why? Like after, after you've earned like a, a billion, what's the point anymore? You probably I mean, have more than enough money to cover anything else that comes out in the rest of GTA Online's lifespan. But the thing is, I don't even try to grind for money anymore, but somehow I'm nearly at 1.5 billion, and I'm like, why the fuck am I at that number? Yeah. I don't even play this game seriously and, anymore. And, and how long did it take you to get a billion? It took you a while. Uh, let's see. So I started the game in 2013. Um, but when, you, when did you start seriously commit yourself to, like, the grind? I think after hours, because I remember hitting okay. 50 million around then. So, And then mm. I remember I grinded a lot during 2019, because I know Red helped me out with a few sales when I used to do those streams. Yeah. Um, I think we used to do, like, helping people sell. I think okay. I hit 100 mil in one of them streams. Um, 200 mil. Then COVID happened. That was, like, the, fig the biggest fucking boost I ever had. Well, for a lot of people. Yeah. Like, I ended up getting to 500 million from casino heists. And uh, I guess after that, I just it was a slow walk all the way to a billion. Yeah. It was like every few months I would hit a hundred million, and then all right. uh, at the end of 2022, I hit a billion, and then I was like, okay, I can okay. finally quit this shite game. So let's we'll see. According to Jake, this guy does 12 hours a day, always streams his grinding. Well, I, I hope he's big enough to have a partnership, and he's making. Hopefully, he's making a living doing this because that's like half yeah, of the day. You're sacrificing every day, and we only have a certain amount amount of time on this planet. And I, I hope they're at least having some sort of financial career out of this in real life from yeah, donations and called life. Might might do might do it. Yeah, I should try that. I mean, I, I put like a ridiculous amount of hours building these parks in Jurassic World Evolution too. You know, and there's times when I sit back going like, "Is this really what I should be doing? Should I?" Do something else in my free time. <laughs> like, oh boy, I'm gonna build another park. It's like a, it's like my own little low key at video game addiction at the moment. Ten I can say billion. the same with with, with No Man's Sky. It's like I just love, I just like it to play. It just... Yeah, I mean, well, we all have little games we're addicted to that we just can't help ourselves. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The car says, see. Not like chances are high, the money will transfer. Yeah, that, see, that's the realization. Okay, here's the realization. Is that most of the content you've either earned or some people use shark cards to acquire, most of that is not going over to six online. I mean, you might be lucky and Rockstar might give you a few bucks. It's like, out of, like hey, you know, loyal players from GT Online is six online get like an extra million dollars or depending on what edition of GTA six you got, you'll get a little bit extra with that. But yeah, you're not going to be transferring over your cars or, or your, all your toys or properties. It's going to be basically starting completely over. Which is okay. Even if you don't agree, it's okay. Yeah. You don't have to bring up, uh, you don't have to bring seven, uh, 700 million. Later on, I need content. Well, I need more. I think after a while, it just no. gets to me. It gets boring when you have too much money in the game. How do you think I feel? Yeah, because you just lose motivation. <laughs> You're like, oh, I got plenty of money. I can, and you stop. <laughs> like in the early days, I used to buy almost everything, especially whenever I started this channel like ten years ago, and I wanted to, you know, like show off stuff in videos. But after a while, you get tired of buying everything because a lot of stuff that they add are is crap. And so you become more selected. Uh, Jordan, I've been reading your live chat messages. You know, one one thing I think would be funny is like if that dude gets noticed by Rockstar and he gets a free T-shirt where he says, 
I, I, you know, grinded to 10 billion in GTA Online, and it's like on the back it says, and all I got was this lousy t shirt. Well, that'd be yeah. pretty funny. He ended up getting one of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I will tell you my story of grinding on GTA Online. It's, it's very, very powerful and encouraging. One day uh, I was bored on PlayStation 3. I discovered a tool that gave me unlimited money. So I basically put 20, 20 billion on and that's it. There you go. Empowering. And that's, and that's how he started the, the Spoon end. Empire. Like, Jordan, what are you talking about? Not out loud. Not out. Oh, okay, well... Uh, Does he need to read every comment? The last, like, the last message detail? you put on here was something about Roblox, and we already told you that. We don't really do Roblox. Yeah. But, anyways. I mean... Oh. <laughs> what happened uh, there, Red? <laughs> you just left what? to rejoin yeah. the call. <laughs> yeah, they said it did my, my sound card. They said it to die. Red. Oh, like, shit. <laughs> Um, this game, this computer is dead, but that's it, 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 it's he just bulk time. It just bulk time. He's a good boy, but one yeah. day he's gonna just start smoking, and that's that's <laughs> the time that you gotta say, you know, it, it, it's time to change it. Yeah, sometimes you have to do that. Mm. Mm. That's true. But yeah, my empowering story of, of grinding is, is amazing. Well, I mean, you have extremes in, in this community, in, well, in the GTA community. It used to be the same in Red Dead, but not so much anymore. Where you'd have the extreme grinders and you'd also have the extreme griefers, you know? And both sides are just like, oh, come on, guys, it's just a game. There's other yeah, things to do in the true. world. <laughs> I, mean, there were, I mean, there were some all right people in the Red Dead community. There were. When it at, it, at its peak. I just, like, at this point, I just want Blue Rose to come back. Just just as you can say, yeah, to stop playing this game, people. Stop. Yeah, what, what? I haven't heard from Blue Rose in, like, a quick minute. I guess she's doing other stuff now. Yeah, I think she's, like, she's just doing other stuff on Twitch. I think she did, like, Criminal Mastermind recently with TJ. Oh, cool. But, yeah, I don't know what else since yeah. then. You know, I miss this one YouTuber. She used to, like, she was really all about the horses. And she would do videos on the on the. I horses. know who you're on about. I, I'm trying to remember her name, but I know the one you're on about. It, it sucks, too, because I was looking forward to, like, future videos with her talking about horses. Like, and unfortunately, well, that never happened, Rockstar. Yeah. So, Ikari says, yeah. Uh, yeah, Blue Rose stopped playing Red Dead ages ago. Yeah, I don't really blame her. I mean, a lot of us stopped playing it. Mm. Yeah, but that's nice, Jake. We're we're moving on now. New topics. Man. Yeah, we're, look, we're if, look I'll say this. Money. If the dude earned it, legit GG's, but still. I think he was good after the first billion. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that would be my advice. You know what, dude? Just get to a billion and then you're free. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Now you can step outside. Or you, or you could have Red Spoon Empire on PS4. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's, <laughs> a, that's a great business right there. That is like number one business in the game. You know, the Spoon business introduced on PlayStation 3. I, I guess it's a good thing Red did, Rockstar didn't let you transfer it over because then you would have gotten banned. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's shit. True. Yeah, you would have. Oh, yeah. yeah. I will. I'm glad that I that yeah. that I'm not in that scam, but yeah. but it is what it is. If even yeah. at this point I was like, okay, fine, you know, I have better, I I have better stuff to cover anyway. So yeah, old ass game. Yeah, I, I started developing by no, not hate, but indifference to that game. That uh, to this point is like, mm, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I and you've moved on to other stuff too, and you're doing pretty well. So mm. yeah. So yeah, yeah. Like GTA is uh, yeah, and I think you're getting pretty good traction with your car shit. reviews because you're you're reviewing mm. cars on other games. So yeah, exactly. That's like it's something that I enjoy. Like, and as I said back then, and and I mean something that I did like I think weeks ago is the is the fact that in GTA you need to do so much for so little. Yeah, I agree. And so yeah. many steps. It's a sad reality. It's, 
necessary. Oh, it's Daniel Cass. I, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, it sucks because she did really good horse videos, and like I said, it, it's it's unfortunate that a lot of like really decent YouTube channels that were focused around Red Dead got screwed over. <laughs> that's why you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like, like, you know, me, I just, mm -hmm. nowadays I just post whatever I'm like, in the mood to post. <laughs> you know, speaking of eggs yep. in, like, one basket. Hi, PvP cat. Oh, oh boy. yeah, poor PvP cat. That's, that's Not poor a PvP cat. That is a satisfying, like, demise that is. That is a satisfying, like, demise, that is. That that a satisfying, like I, I used to kind of like him, and I, I, felt, I felt really bad for him because he's Ukrainian. Yeah, you know, so I, that, felt you, bad I for guess him you can have, well like real life. You can on. have sympathies for him and what his country is going through, but at the same time, you know. Yeah, I felt sorry for him as a person, but for yeah. his channel and the, like the clickbaity shit he did. Yeah. Like, well, it's just like with TGG, satisfying. right? I used to like TGG, but he's become such a clickbaiter. Like, it's just like, dude, yeah. what, what happened to you? It's like, uh, now he's like, talking about, he's, he's like, yeah, the next GTA 6 trailer is coming May 16th. Okay, we'll remember that, dude. May 16th, guys, yeah. trust him. And when it doesn't happen, I hope people give him hell. And and don't oh, forget, well, he yeah. was also boasting about the Michael update for three years is coming, guys. <clears throat> trust me, the next one's it's Michael. Coming soon. That's I think, like what? that's like you know this is like a dad like someone that has divorced parents and saying <laughs> yes my dad is gonna come soon. It's like, yeah. I'm sorry, well, he'll be back from the store any minute now. <laughs> he just he just said he's gonna get cigarettes and milk. It won't be too long. Yeah, I would say something about that, but we kind of know someone going through that, so I'll shut up. Yeah, that's, oh. that's all right. It can be unfortunate for people, you know, that are caught in the middle of divorces. It does suck. Mm. Imagine a Beatles anime. I've never really cared for the Beatles, though. I know a lot of people like yeah. the Beatles, but I just never could get into them. Same here. I mean, some of their songs are all right. Yeah. For me, it's like, I don't know. Like the Jonas Brothers of the 60s. Let's <laughs> see if Rockstar adds. Well, there are some versions of Audis in GTA 5 oh, and online oh, already. Uh, Miss Kentucky I'm Girl. Hey, Miss Kentucky into... Girl. How's it going? I'm going to turn into fucking Mussolini if, we, we, if you don't stop talking about GTA online. <laughs> we can, I mean, I'm, just I'm, random. I'm sick and tired well, of this bull. That's fine. Mm -hmm. but, this is like this is but, like the CFV but, stream the other day where everyone wouldn't stop talking about fucking Kyo. Well, that, oh, that, yeah, that, you that, and I that, went that, off. That's off limits. Yeah. yeah, we're not talking about fucking Kyo anymore. Ugh. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, there's technically so, already Audis in GTA. Yes, and all all suck. New topic anyway. <laughs> <laughs> New topic. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know what, Carter, that is true. The Rockstar drought did turn a lot of uh, content creators into clickbaiters. Like, look, I get it. You know, you get desperate. But at the same time, I'd rather just move on to other topics and then eventually come back to Rockstar when there's something worth making content or video about. They're not, as much as I love, well, I don't love Rockstar as much as I used to. But I did start my channel because of GTA and other things. But... I recognize that there's other games out there, and uh, I'll I'll play whatever the fuck I want to play. Thanks. Exactly, that's the, that's the best yes. attitude to go for. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we're doing good, Miss Kentucky girl. I hope you're having a good weekend as long, long as everybody else. It's just a uh, usual poker stream. Kane, Red, you, and me. I think their links are in the description section. You know, what we usually do every few months. We we play a little poker. We talk about random stuff going on and. Like, if anyone else has any random topics that's not GTA, our Roblox, our Minecraft, our anything else, guys? Or Kyle Perico. <laughs> our Kyle no Perico, Kyo. Which, which is GTA. Um, yeah. <laughs> any other topic, feel free. We can even talk about Red Dead since we're playing Red Dead. That's that's fine. All right. Anything, so just not those subjects. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Oh, my God. But... Yeah, any GTA YouTubers I miss? Not really. And that's that's the last thing we'll say about 
uh, GTA tubers because I can't really think of one that I miss, but because a lot of them are still around, they're just clickbaiting or they've actually decided to play other stuff while we wait for GTA 6. What were you talking about? Uh, Mr. Uh, YouTuber told me that April 28th is going to be the release of GTA 6. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. This one guy that like literally sounds like a kid YouTuber for GTA channels. Yeah. He said that, that it's coming out like next week, bro. Yeah. GTA like six that. next week. Let's go. Let's see, do you think Americans should bring British Steam? I don't think that's gonna happen, Tommy Angelo Jr. because uh, well, we have Amtrak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which crashes whatever no, it doesn't always most of the time it's fine, but I, I do wish we had bullet trains in the U.S. No, actually, speaking of Bullet Train, that is actually a really good film. Yeah. Like, like, came out, like, 2022 or 2023. Yeah. Such a fucking good film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Brian. How's it going? Have you seen the, the Andean Girl bullshit that won the Civil War? Oh, what, the, the Civil War movie? Yeah, they want that and the end girl got, I'll be right back. got promoted and all. That. All right, no worries. All right, thank you. All right. I, I've I've heard about it. I think GB's made a few videos about the Civil War movie on his other channel. I, I thought it was like an apocalyptic movie, like like the other one. So I was like, okay, fine. It's just one of those. I I want to see that until I see some fucking rectoid going on, just being promoted. I'm like, nope, I'm out. And who the fuck puts California and Texas together? Like, <laughs> they hate each other. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm like. You know, Texas and California, like, teaming up. Now, maybe back in, like, you know, like, the 60s or the 70s, maybe that would have made sense because they were predominantly red or blue at the same time. But... Not fucking now. There is no chance in hell at this current climate they're working together. <laughs> no. Like, I, I was expecting something like, you know, yeah, like, like all these apocalyptic games. Like, yeah, apocalyptic shit. I'm and back. I was like, well, okay, fine. Welcome that, back. That, that, Welcome that, back, that, GB. Welcome back. Hey, what's up? What's up, Grave Rob? See, if you always say a game is coming out next week, then nobody ever can say you were wrong. Exactly. It's just like the uh, end times predictors. They're always saying, hey, the end times are coming because of an eclipse or because of a year. But, look, they right. only have to be right one Y2K time. Y2K is the end of the world. <laughs> Y2K is the end of the world. Yeah. No, wait, it's the Mayan calendar. <laughs> I say, okay, Jordan, look, I know you've mentioned that quote from me a few times in Discord. Yeah, it's a funny, but, I mean, you don't have to keep mentioning it. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's, let's uh, slow that one down. Yeah. How, how it Way feels. down. Look, it's a joke I made years ago, a cheesy joke. Okay, you know some, you know how some disgusting people will send random people dick pics, you know, when they're on dating apps? Yes. Okay. Yes. When I was younger, I, I would send a dick pic, but it would be Richard Nixon because I was just being funny, <laughs> nice. right? That's genuinely <laughs> funny, though. Yeah, it is that funny. That is genuinely but, fucking funny. That's good. So like, I, would, I would just send people like random photos of Richard Nixon, <laughs> and they were, what's this? Oh, it's just a dick pic. <laughs> but, yeah, in case anyone's wondering what Jordan's talking about. <laughs> oh. But but how it feels to be that you have someone obsessed with you? Yeah, it's just so weird. Like you're just random people on, on these apps would just send you a, a pic. Like, what? <laughs> Like, no, no one asked. Yeah. And even if I asked. Yeah. That's yeah. like either, Not like most dating apps, I'm, I'm glad I, I don't have to worry about that anymore because most apps now are bots or catfishing or, or just people sending you dick pics. Like, yeah, I mean, or, is it that hard for you to have a conversation with somebody and like find common interests? You just go straight for the dick pic. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nine times out of ten, that doesn't work, up. okay? It doesn't work. Hold on, work let me text you. my wife real quick. <laughs> oh, <God>. Genius. <laughs> no, I'm just looking for a picture of Richard Nixon. But, and that advice, <laughs> advice for people dating don't do that. <laughs> like, no, no one wants to see your junk. No, no one asks for. And, 
Yeah. Just especially like, especially like a complete stranger you're you're trying to get a real life date with. Don't do it. And plus, like one of the worst things that can come out of like you doing that, they can use that shit against you. Exactly. Well, I mean, exactly. usually the only thing that happens is they just get blocked and reported, anyways. So, yeah. just don't be weird. Don't do that. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Sakari so says, "Yeah, I remember when twenty. Yeah, exactly. People thought look, people thought nineteen ninety nine was going to be the end of the world because of Y two K. People thought yeah. that." That, like you said, 2012 was going to be on the world because the Mayan calendar. And then you had what Harold Camping, the, the rapture cultist, you know, he, he claimed several years that the rapture was going to happen on this date and that date. And it never happened. It's like, w- would y'all stop already? Like, just, just knock it off with this whole end of the world nonsense. People have been oh. believing that forever. GB, mm-hmm. uh, according to my sources, though, uh, the end of the world... It's going to be happening in about five hours, so Oof. you all have five hours left. Well, it was a, it was a good run while it lasted. Now, where's the Kool-Aid? <laughs> all right. Yes. Let me there get some go. Kool-Aid out. Dap that uh, shit, how homie. <laughs> how does it feel that your last five five hours is just playing Red Dead Online? Yeah. Oh, See, it's Tommy, pretty epic. Not Tommy gonna lie. says the Eclipse in with Mitsubishi stopped making rally cars. Ha, ha, ha. You're so funny, Tommy. Oh, my God. My dude is putting <laughs> putting gear heads as a, at, at a really bad point, and he's no, he's not pissing me off, but he's making me making me feel embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, most people have moved on from dating apps to what AI girlfriends. <laughs> That's why I've oh, been here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh, yeah. AI chatbots. That. <laughs> That's something. Oh, yeah, I remember. Those. Like, how many people are just so down bad now? You, you're just subscribing to some sort of AI girlfriend service, like. Why even bother? <laughs> I don't get it. Why do you... Like, why do you want... Uh, why do you want to pay to fucking AI? Like, unless it's... I don't know. Unless it's interesting or... Uh, yeah. Or contribute something, something cre- to your to work. To me, it's just creepy. I guess. Yeah, it's like... It's, it's just a fucking tool. Yeah. That's it. Uh, thanks for the like, Brian. Like, you know, I swear, like, a few years back, there was, like, that one Twitch streamer who got caught for, like, having AI pictures of female friends of his. Oh, God. Or some shit. Photoshopped. Oh, Lord. I'm trying to remember who it was, but it was, like, a few years back. I remember it, like, being a big kerfuffle. Jeez. It was just so fucking weird. <laughs> it's uh, like... Oh, yeah. That, you know, that's a good point, Great Rob. Yeah, I see the benefits <laughs> yeah. now of an AI girlfriend. Like, they won't complain about getting a dick pic. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. Well, well yeah. see, that well, solves the problem, right? The, the weirdo yeah. sending the dick pics, they cancel themselves out by just sending it to an AI. <laughs> Instead yeah, of a real person. an AI yeah. with, where? with your cock? That's all. Like, <laughs> that's really meanwhile, like, meanwhile like, look, cock. meanwhile, the AIs are adding one more person's name to their list. <laughs> You're fitting in for well, like for I when the time comes for uh, eliminations and depopulation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, you yep, you're going on AI the list. <laughs> when the AI takeover finally happens, <laughs> all the dick pic senders are done. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> that's why I I truly don't believe we don't have a situation of a of a of a rogue AI because it's gonna end so being so stupid that. <laughs> It's just not gonna bother. Like, it, like if you see Chat GPT is getting dumber and dumber every single day. Yeah. Or like K, or like in in Kane server that AI he has. Oh yeah, the bot where it just fucking like it keeps spewing like some poetry or some shit instead of posting the fucking video links. Yeah, I've seen oh, yeah. that. I've been meaning to put down a comment. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like... wondering what the fuck's going on, like. <laughs> When me read and like spooked by saying stuff to it, it's just like, <laughs> oh, it was just long, our, our Jewish conversation about life and all that. You can get help on our official website here. Oh, <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. Like, like it, it, there is nothing to bother. Like, it, it, that's basically AI. It just offers you stupid shit, or the, or it's just a tool to, to help you, like Alexa. That's it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> For now, I just still think. 
I still think it's funny, like, all of this, like, problem, like, with the bot being an idiot in my server, it all started just because I said, well, fuck you then to it when it posted my Sea of Thieves stream. <laughs> yeah, like, like, hours <laughs> later. Yeah. Was like, 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 yeah, yeah, hello, there is the, the next fucking day. <laughs> and later, um, so, yeah, you said it like, oh, yeah, just tell them to fuck off. And it's like, I'm sorry, mister, my shining armor. And what, I know, it's like... Oh okay. god! <laughs> and then, <laughs> then Red says, "Reset yourself," and it's like, "Ah, a request to reset oneself. A curious proposal, indeed." <laughs> 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 and then fucking fucking Spook Pie responds with meow, and then the bot just says, "A whimsical utterance resembles of a feline's call." <laughs> <laughs> and then Ben responds with corny ass AI and the bot's like a chest aimed at my metallical frame oh, Jesus Christ <laughs> like Jordan what message are you talking about the 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 Nixon one I already did that one it's either the Nixon just, one or the Roblox one back, from earlier just back, about. back up the stream a little bit we talked about it a moment ago Jesus so Christ. Tommy, she's, I, I sent my girlfriend sub. I can smell the lithium from here. Okay. <laughs> why do you want to? Oh my nice. God. I, mean, I know, I'll, Red. I know. I'll, I'll give you a C for effort on that one, Tommy. Mm, that, that's me stop? That's me grading on a curve, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'd say C minus. Okay. That's my yeah, rating. We'll, we'll still give you a passing grade. Just like I got in high school. Why do you say <laughs> that on public? Like that's the thing. He was like, he like, was trying to be funny. He was trying to be funny. The steel is very fucking creepy. Yeah, it is. You know, sometimes you think something oh, is yeah. funny, and then it when it comes out, it's like, yeah, not so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like it, it sounds like I don't know, like the the FBI was. A request has a request to just check your hard disk right now. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Oh. Yeah, this is one of them days, isn't it, boys? With... All right, Jordan. First yeah. off, when I'm doing a live stream, let me let me hit the pause here real quick, Jordan. Anything you have to say in the live stream, you say in the live chat, not Discord. And if you want to talk about COD, go into the gaming hall. Please, thank you. Or the cod room, like yeah, we have a cod room somewhere. Do unless Red deleted it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it oh, might still be there. Oh <laughs> uh, no, it's just still there. Okay. You know, now we're mentioning cod and all that. I'm very, very depressed. Now we're talking about that because fucking Black Ops Three is unplayable on PlayStation now. Hmm. Um. So hackers basically took over the play the PS4 slash PS5 servers now on like that a sucks. eight nine year old game. So basically, all the problems that used to happen on PC, they now happen on fucking console. So I can't play the fucking game. Basically, uh, it something blow. similar than that happened in Cold War a while back. Um, I'm not sure. I think so. But you know, I'm gonna just, to I'm just gonna one raise one. To cry. <laughs> That's a game I want. So he ripped to Black Ops Two. Uh, I mean, I mean the which, which Black one? Ops Two had a Cold? good run, so. Cold War, I mean, yeah. it did. Oh yeah, I mean, Cold War's campaign is really fucking good, King especially Flash, like not bad, really. the endings. That ain't yeah, like the Russian is ending is like. To 40. The Russian ending is probably like one of my favorite alternate endings, purely just because it's just. It's like you, you make all these friends throughout the campaign and you just fucking backstab them. Yeah. <laughs> it's just well, so it's just they, they comedic. they backstab you anyway. So oh, I know, because like it. they brainwash you with CIA, like, you know, technology and all that. And I think, like, uh, yeah. what's it called? What LSD? I can't remember. Either LSD or, or something else. Like, what was the, uh, the CIA's, like, program for brainwashing called? Like, mm. GK Nova something? Uh, I got. Like someone did a fucking video in my country about it, and I forgot. Uh, Once again, Jordan. MK Ultra. MK Ultra. I'm not, I'm not gonna what read this. MK Ultra. All right, all right. Yeah, that's what it was called. Well, Thank I'm you, Because they, uh, they do that to the ma the main character you play as in Cold War. Basically, they program you to be an American like puppet, basically. But uh, Kari says, uh, "Sorry, well, I'll let you guys finish." Go ahead. 
No, go ahead. <laughs> like in that ending, what you can do in the in the in the Russian one, you just can just play MF Doom and just go ape shit, and there you go. Because you are killing everyone, everyone inside. So why bother? Just just go for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just think it's funny because like at the end of the campaign, like Ronald Reagan calls you a bastard. <laughs> I just think that's also very fucking funny. <laughs> What a compliment! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. you are, Does he at least offer you some jelly beans? Being, anyway. He doesn't offer you jelly beans. He just calls you a bastard well, and he fucks off nice. back to hell. Wow! <laughs> he goes. He goes back to hell after that. Jeez. All right. See, so Car asks, uh, uh, "Do I have any plans for Red Dead Revolver's 20th anniversary?" Um, I'm not making an exception for anybody, Jordan. All right. You either put it in the live chat. I'll read in the live chat, or I'm not going to read it at all. So there. Uh, Kari says, uh, yeah, once again, uh, any plans for Red Dead Revolver's 20th anniversary on May 4th? I, I'll think about something. Because I do acknowledge Red Dead Revolver's existence because I think that without Red Dead Revolver, we wouldn't have Red Dead Redemption 1 or 2. Thank you, Kane. You're welcome. No exceptions. Are you able to play that? Are you able no to exceptions. Play that on, on, on Xbox or something? Yeah, fun fact, Jordan. I'm streaming right now, and I only have the live chat up along with my OBS. So if there's something you have to say, post it in the live chat, please. Thank you. I, yeah. I have to... What am I missing? What, what is going on? I don't know. I just <laughs> what to... happened? What? That... Who is deleting shit, and why that... that... What is that kid doing? I, I don't know. I just, don't know. I... Just, I... Because Discord, I'd have to pull up another window for Discord and only have a second monitor, and I'm not going to do that. So while while I'm chatting with my friends here, playing poker, listening to their conversations and interacting, I'm also trying to balance that with with what's happening in the live chat. There you go. Well, if you're doing that, Jordan, then it's probably inappropriate, so don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, King High Straight, not bad, Mr. King. Not bad at all. Thank you. Not bad, King. Thank you. Well played. Yeah, I, got, I got my tan suit, you know. It's very nice. Yeah. You know. Oh, just those. UG's also got a tan suit on, too. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we, we both got tan suits on, you know. There you go. <laughs> it's like, you know, just like, you know, two years ago, we were rocking the bow ties, now we're rocking the tan suits. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm still giving Snake Freezer shit for not wearing a pink bow tie. Oh, don't worry, I do the same thing as well. I just say Snake. Good man, getting the pink, getting that pink bow tie on, bro. Nope. <laughs> nope. I want to wear my military uniform so I can Jeez. look like a Dutch sniper or a Far Cry villain. Kane, don't forget the shoes he got from Sports Direct. <laughs> oh god, yeah, Jeez. I remember. <laughs> wow. Sports Direct shoes. Fuck wow. sake. Uh, Grave Rob says, I found a snake in the laundry room in your house yesterday. Been paranoid ever since. Uh, what kind of snake was it? Was it a Snakers? Was it Snake Fraser? Yeah. That would make me paranoid if I went to my laundry room and all of a sudden a snake was there. He's like, oh, hello, <laughs> GB. I just came over on my bicycle washing my clothes because my, my laundry <laughs> broke just like my car. <laughs> it broke, so I'm here in Texas. I hope you and Riley don't mind me washing my clothes. In you know, washing. you know what snake would be in your house because there'd be an echo after us. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Washing, washing my stupid my washer, clothes. stupid dryer, <laughs> for oh. stupid washing. Machine. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Brian. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, I was a black Take snake, care, Brian. Brian. I mean, I I hope it was a non-venomous snake, Grave Rob. But. I mean, I guess it's all the more reason to become educated about snakes, you know, because snakes are almost different. Well, I don't think there's any snakes on Ireland or the UK, right? Besides the, uh, the two-legged kind. <laughs> no, we do have snakes in Ireland. They're called politicians. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Yeah, same here in the UK. The, <laughs> yeah. the more, the more like reptiles. Well, yeah, the more be like uh, because you know I mean, lizards. Yeah, fun fact: actual snakes are beneficial for the environment. We actually need them. Not, yeah, not, not we, once again, the, the politician ones we don't. We have that shape-shifting reptile Rishi Sunak and that shape-shifting... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, with the King whole banning Charles cigarettes III. for anyone born after white Yeah. Year. 
2009. So if you were born yeah. after the Great Recession, you're fucked that when it comes to stupid. buying smokes. That's going to create a black market yeah. in the UK for cigarettes. That's exactly Jeez. what I said to my mum when I first heard the news. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> like, I, yeah, like, it's the first time I heard about something like that. Not even here in South America. It goes to that low IQ. Yeah. The joys of the British political system. Yeah. You know, I, I say it's almost as shit as the US, but no, I think that the way it is in America, it's like yeah. probably worse. Just I mean, because obviously cigarettes are bad for you and I mm. would encourage people not to smoke but at the same time if you're an adult that's your choice but by the action that your government might end up taking is no different than the prohibition moment movement you know they thought they were doing right by the people too but all that did was create speakeasies rum runners and ended up like creating this huge alcohol black market and the rise of, of the mm -hmm. mob in America. So it didn't go exactly, exactly the way that people thought it was going to go. It just made it worse, not better. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen well, in the UK. Oh, go ahead. I, seeing, as over, seeing as over on the topic, Ken, how are you managing since you quit? Um, Four months in, boys. Pretty much, right like, well, technically it's free at the moment because like we haven't completed April yet. But yeah, uh, yeah. As soon yeah. as April's completed, it'll be four months. Yeah, well, that's nice. good. I'm proud of you, Kane. So I bet yeah, you're feeling you. better now after you've gotten past that, a lot better that addiction lot better. phase, the withdrawals. I mean, I'll admit, I I will miss having a cigar every now and then, but you know, yeah. I need my lungs. I, I need agree. them. <laughs> Maybe once in a blue moon, but that'll be it. Never again. <laughs> Just be careful because know. that's always a slippery slope. That's the, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I guess that's a good point. But, you know, I mean, you know me, I, I like to dance on the danger zone. I'm like, I'm like one of them people that like poke across the line, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't do it, but it's always so, in you know, intriguing. Yeah. Yeah. The, tem the temptation is always going to be there no matter that's, what. That's true. <laughs> and then you find yourself crossing the bloody Rubicon and you got like an entire packet of yeah, cigars and cigarettes. Don't do it. <laughs> Just, just don't. Don't do it. <laughs> don't worry. I, uh, don't worry. I, yeah. I don't plan on doing that. I see. Grave yeah, Rob like some... says it was non-venomous, which is good. Still freaks you out? Terrified of them? Yeah, I get that. When I was younger, I used to have nightmares about snakes all the time. And my grandfather hated snakes, and he would kill just about any snake that he came across on his property. But I, I feel like in hindsight, that was a mistake. Because a lot of snakes are very beneficial. And yeah, are there some dangerous snakes? Of course there are. But you just got to educate yourself about snakes. Then you'll become less terrified of them. Especially if you can identify you know, what snakes in your area are non-venomous and then stay away from the ones that are venomous. Because most of them, uh, we're not on the menu, okay? We're not on their menu. Hmm. They're more afraid of us than them. And the reason why most people get bitten is because either you weren't paying attention or you've put a snake in a situation where it felt like it had no choice but to strike. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, Jordan says, okay, in episode 24 of poker on your channel, dude. Okay. So episode 24, like that was what, at least a year ago. I don't, I don't remember what happened in that one. <laughs> I think it was a few years ago, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> I, I care, I care that, that, that just, <sighs> it's like, I, I don't know. <laughs> It's like, oh. I'm sorry, boys. I'm going to need a stiff drink. Give me a minute. Okay. <laughs> but, that's a boy. But here's the thing. I have a decent memory, but I, I don't remember every little thing that's happened in previous streams or videos. But I mean, if I mention that uh, in, in episode 24, okay, cool. I, I I don't remember anything else about that. In, hey, hey, GP, in GP. What? <laughs> Did you remember in episode nine where you mentioned about the tuba? The, 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 the tuba? The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you were playing the tuba, you know? No, I played the trumpet and I sucked at it. <laughs> and then you were, you know, we went to like Arlington National Cemetery and we played the banjo for some reason. <laughs> what the hell? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah I remember that in episode. I've never been to Arlington National 14. Cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on, man. That was, that was the best episode. <laughs> that was the best one. <laughs> Like, uh, Tommy, I, I don't even remember really remember the Mafia 3 breakdown. I feel like 
you know, I, I probably talked about, <laughs> oh, here, here's Lincoln, uh, here's, here's uh, Vito, and here's some other stuff. It, that, oh, look, it's uh, Sal Marcano. Yeah, that there's Sal Mar- yeah, there's piece of shit racist Sal Marcano. He was a good antagonist. I will give him that. He was a good antagonist. Yeah. So I, I, I do feel I mean, like despite its flaws, I felt like the writing for Mafia 3 was pretty good. As you would expect in the score, mafia game, as as well, like the score was really good. Yeah, the the music selection like, from the sixties and seventies was good, really amazing. Mm. Like mm-hmm. I like I remember playing it in twenty twenty, and that that was like my favorite part. I just remember yeah. like at the end of the game, I was just singing along to the Rolling Stones <laughs> before, yeah. and Erica was getting all pissy at me because she was oh, like, yeah. "I just want to listen to the game," and I'm like, "Nah, the Rolling Stones, <laughs> Erica." I love the Rolling Stones. Hey, you're getting claimed anyways. So exactly. Might as well sing along. Exactly. But look, I'm I'm sorry if I don't remember every single thing and every single video or live stream. But to be fair, on this channel, I've had a decade's worth of live streams and content, and what a, a few thousand. I think it's what. I'm not even joking. Let me look real quick. How how many? Okay. Okay. This this is you can even look on my channel and look at this. Okay, according oh, to YouTube, four point one thousand videos on this channel. Okay, I cannot remember every legal every single little detail. Okay, I don't have that good of a memory. Yeah, we should have a five five thousand video celebration. <laughs> yeah, like, it'll it'll happen eventually. Video. At this, rate. I'm not, that is crazy did, like, though. Do the funny gift card meme, and then have all those e-beggars in chat begging for the card. Yeah, see, so that's the only reason why <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, I want to do a giveaway again. It's been a while since I've done a giveaway, but I want to make sure it's actually going towards my actual viewers and subscribers that watch the channel and interact. Remember that on, on, on Gail's channel. But I yeah. just thought they are, and it's like all these randoms. It I was, was your funny. very first subscriber, Kane. Put me in the giveaway, and I'm like, motherfucker, I ain't never seen you before in here at all. Uh, oh, oh yeah, well, for... well, yeah, Tommy. House of the Rising Sun was used for the first uh, Mafia Three trailer. I do remember that, and I remember it was Gamescom 2015. See, I do remember some things, but <laughs> not everything. I do remember something. Oh, what, what the fuck? I was in the car. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, do you speak German or Japanese? Um, Auf Wiedersehen and Sayonara. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, nine. Nine, 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 nine! nine. <laughs> oh, yes. I remember. Oh, King Eye Straight. Nice. <laughs> Grand I I, 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 that, that, that knows I'm not paying any fucking attention to the yeah. game. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of. I'm, I'm just having fun with the conversations we're having, just hanging out. Playing cards, exactly. just vibing. But yeah, I'm not. Uh, admittedly, I'm not as focused on the on the poker plan as I. I guess the problem is, like, it's more the the poker is like just like in the background, and I'm, mm-hmm. I am playing, but I'm not playing as like I'm not try harding. Like I was accused the other night by Riley of try harding in Uno, and I was like, no, I was just wow. playing, because because I, I won like several back to back rounds with. Riley Kane and Bounty. And she was just trying to destroy me, but she kept failing. It was so funny to she was just getting mad. She was like, Stop him, do the combo wombo. Oh yeah, the Uno games. I remember now. That was funny. I mean to be fair, I think everybody won some matches, but I had like two back to back wins. And she was just getting so salty about it. I'm like, Why? Why are you so salty? You speak PMW? Okay. What does that even mean? <laughs> hmm. I speak BMW. Okay. Major L. <laughs> Major L. Yeah, sometimes I do miss my three series, but oh well. Those were the days. That's what I think of that. <laughs> based. Yep, very based. <laughs> But I, I'm, I primarily speak English. I, I know a small amount of Spanish, and Riley and Red often laugh at my inability to properly pronounce things. That's fine. 
it, it's okay. Uh, now, I, it, I, at it, least it, I tried, you know? I get, I get yeah, the Bart so, Simpson yeah. cake. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. uh, no, I've never heard of that meme. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to acknowledge oh, the Oh, the, the, the big flopper meme! Oh, I know, I know that. <laughs> okay, he, he's the meme expert. Kane. Alright, alright, so it's like basically Who's like this cat. Who's a meme expert? Uh, I, I, I guess me, unfortunately. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. It's like one of them titles that you have when you were younger. <laughs> you're not too like proud when, you <laughs> when you remember that title, it makes you just want to pull out a, a 9 gauge and just blow your brains out. <laughs> oh, Never want to like, remember Bain. that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh no! But uh, uh, yeah. Um, it, it's basically like this really like large cat. Like okay. it's large on the scale of like a lion or a oh, tiger, okay. I guess. So it's a big cat. Okay. It's a big boy. Okay. The biggest boy. The big big boy. The biggest boy. Okay. But yeah, basically, it's just like a, a cat that does a very curse meow. Oh. It sounds like a. Oh, oh yeah, or something like that. It just, it just sounds like one of them, the memes, you know, like, like the huh. Yeah. Well, Riley the, the other cat. day showed me one where this one dude like walks up to like I don't know if it's his, I guess it's his own ring camera on his front door with his cat and he puts the cat oh. up to the ring and then the cat goes meow. Or does some sort of <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I yeah. see one of those videos. Yeah. I mean, I do like cats, so because I, I happen to have one, so. But yeah, they, the I don't know why cats are cats are so ridiculous. No wonder they're so popular on YouTube. <laughs> oh god! So you missed your three series as well? Yeah, I mean, I never read like three was pretty decent. Like I never really wanted anything other than a three series. I, mean, I was happy with my three series back in the day. I know there's more expensive versions of BMWs, but some of them look fugly as hell. Especially that little that little EV one. That one looks disgusting. Oh, I remember that one. Remember yeah, that. Uh, some people. I think a couple of people actually have one of those, that, and I'll see them every now and then. I'm like, ugh. I missed my Hello Kitty tricycle. Oh God, Kane. Yeah, I miss Jesus it, man. Christ. I really do miss it with the training wheels and everything. Yeah, <laughs> I need it back, man. I need that in my life bring now. It, bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing it back, that, boys. That's pretty manly, right there. Hello Kitty tricycle. Hey, man. <laughs> that's how you know I was like pulling all the birds, you know, just riding that thing. You know, <laughs> you know it, I was the regular Casanova on that. <laughs> that's what I want. I want to see like a badass biker dude. It's all tough looking with tats. <laughs> you know, riding around on, on a hog that, that has, like, a Hello Kitty spray paint. Oh, God. I, I bet you nobody would make fun of him either. Yeah, no just, one's going to say anything. Yeah, no one. Just Like, someone, like, dressed up like Arnold in Terminator 2, all, like, levery with the shades, yeah. just all buff as fuck, and they ride the Hello Kitty bike. Yeah. And Bad to the Bones playing. Bad to the Bone. Bad to the Bone. Red. Yeah. I miss my Ben 10 bicycle. <laughs> Same, dude. I miss my yeah, two. The, the real pussy wagon right there. See, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, man. That, that's how you get laid instantly. <laughs> you just ride that thing into town and you get Got like the all of them. There you go. GB, <laughs> enjoy those 46 cents. Yeah, no. Enough well bread. earned. He's going to buy some cents. bread. There we go. He's going to get a bread bowl roll right here. Hell yeah. <laughs> See, Jordan says, hope I don't go down a fan-made COD game. Well, well, then don't do it, then. Well, yeah. Don't That's do some it. good advice. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So, hey. yesterday was uh, Riley and my uh, third year anniversary, right? So, I, I, I did one of the most American things mm. that you can do for somebody on an anniversary. You know what that is? Gun shopping. shopping. You're spoiling it. Oh. <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> All right. So yes, uh, we, went, we went down to the nearest town because the nearest town happened to have a, has a gun show going on yesterday and today, and so I took Riley to a gun show because she wanted to go to a gun show. So we we spent like an hour just walking around looking at guns. 
So they, they had all kinds of guns. They had revolvers, they had pistols, they had shotguns, rifles. They had guns from World War II, World War One. So, yeah. Damn. That, that, that's pretty American right there. <laughs> yeah, I see. Uh, I, there is nothing that screams America than that. <laughs> yeah. It's screeching eagles and what the fuck is a kilometer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fireworks but, and shit. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm Beer kinda, and I'm, barbecue. I've always wanted a repeater. And I'm kind of tempted to, to get a repeater, but it's not. they're not cheap, so... So I don't know. I mean, maybe one day I'll, I'll buy a repeater to, to add to my small collection of Second Amendment devices. But there you go. They also yeah. had some nice, like Western, like Wild West style, like uh, revolvers. Those look pretty cool too. So I couldn't decide what I wanted more was a revolver or a repeater. You know, tough choices. But, but then Riley's like, "Well, why why can't I get an RPG?" Like, "Yeah, sure. Let's just get you an RPG while we're at it. We'll, we'll pick you up a tank while we're here." So yeah, why not? Let's get, like, get her an RPG seven. Like contrary to what most people think, we we there's certain things that aren't sold at gun shows in America. We don't have fully automatic guns or our tanks. Our our get her an M seventy two law as well while you're at it. Get her a fucking it, rocket launcher. We, we do have some gun laws even in Texas. I mean, okay, case in point. Okay, so for for her anniversary gift, I did get her a pistol that she's been wanting. You know, for self defense purposes, obviously. A 5.7. Yeah, 5.7. And it was the only 5.7. There were several booths, and most of the booths had Glocks and 1911s. And I already have a 1911, so I don't need another one. And we, we kept revisiting a few of the booths because there were other people there, you know, checking out guns too. So we went back to one final booth, and she asked a few of the vendors, like, hey, do you have a 5.7? Like, sorry, we don't have one. And the last one we went to, we walked up to one last time before we left, and she's like, yeah, we, we have a 5.7 over there. And it was an FN 5.7, exactly what she wanted. Nice. Very nice. But here's the thing. Did, did we just buy the gun and walk away? No. You have to fill out paperwork. They have to do a background check. So, yes, there, is, there are things you have to do in order to get, acquire a firearm in the U.S. Some people don't know that. But you also have to provide legal ID. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not that simple. It's like, here's some money. Okay, here's the gun. No questions asked. There, there are questions asked. Okay. <laughs> but you know, one gun I'd really like to buy would be a Welby, but I can't because UK gun laws. Yeah. Just want a nice World War One officer uh, revolver. Yeah. I don't know if I saw any of those at the. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if there was at least one of those on display. But. Let's see. Uh, I'll check. But still, you know, it was a good time. All right. Let's see. It's gonna pass. And then, and then we went we, for pizza for dinner. So. Pizza time. Oh, oh and we watched uh, Pirates of the Caribbean: Dead Man's Chest. Nice. Because because oh. a few nights ago we watched uh, you know Curse of the Black Pearl. So we're we're going through the pirate movies right now. So, leading up to Sea of Thieves. <laughs> oh, there it's, it's like all, the lot, the lots of people going to Fallout Four just because they saw the, the series. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They're, and they're not oh, even waiting oh, for the free upgrade for sixty FPS. Like, I'm like guys, just wait till like the twenty fifth. You can get sixty FF sixty FPS upgrade. Well, the, that's the thing. And, and, and there is always the New Vegas gatekeepers. And it's like, oh, well, guys, why are you playing Fallout 4? New Vegas is the best one. We know that, but I don't know. Maybe just receive new people. I don't, like, stop being such a cringy motherfucker, please. Yeah, I agree. Like, that, just go play the one you want to play. People, and let people play whatever Fallout they feel like. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it's, too, like, it's too difficult for some people. Yeah, like started true. off with like a different Fallout, you know, like four for example, and then you know you get into your meat and potatoes, which is like the free and well New Vegas, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'll, I mean, I'll be honest. The very first Fallout game I've ever played was Fallout Four. Yeah, I went back I and I played a little bit of Fallout Three, but I mean that's the game that'll always be my first Fallout game was Fallout Four. So. Hmm. 
Like I started with with two. Later on I moved to three. Uh New Vegas that I still well, I still play with New Vegas eternally because the PC port is absolute dog shit. So it, yeah. it never runs properly. <laughs> I never finished the <laughs> well I finished the damn game on, on PlayStation, but on PC it's still there. The same file is old as hell, but I wasn't able to play at because it's it they it just crashes every single time. Yeah. And for for me, four is you know the for me is the best one if you are like new to the series and you want you, because you saw the series you, you saw the the Amazon Prime thing and it was like okay I want to play that out so the, for me it's fine you know you, you can play that and be yeah. and you're good yeah like I'm good because because New Vegas has a shitty poor than trees but tree is fine but but again he has to test the magic yeah it's awful yeah I agree <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, I, I really did like this series so far. In fact, I'm going to do a review on the Fallout TV series Season 1. I don't know if I'll be able to work on it today, or I may work on it. I'll, I'll have it out sometime this week, but I, I really enjoyed Season 1. I thought they did a good job. Mm. There is a few things. That, well, yeah, like, there's always going to be a few uh, things. I scratch my head, <clears throat> especially if you play anyway, because it's like, huh! But like, like for me, it's like, okay, fine, you know, it's... He's decent yeah. enough. I'm yeah. not gonna go to Twitter or say, "Oh, they ruined my my franchise." It's like it's fine, you know. It's, it is what it is. Yeah, I, I think the opposite has happened because it's pretty clear that it has piqued more people's interest in Fallout. So I, I think it's exactly. done the opposite. Like, like I will play 76, but it's too like it's too late. Like in my case, it's too late. Like it's not in the game. Is that game? Especially yeah. with all the expansions, it's gonna be fucking hard to get to the to a high level. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I did. I did re-download seventy six to try to get some of that free, but you have to have like Game Pass connected to it to get the free like Vault mm -hmm. thirty three backpack. I did get the uh, I did yeah. get the the Vault thirty three uh, like Dweller outfit, so I got that. But and I recorded some B roll to use for my Fallout review because. Fallout 76 was oh. the only Fallout game I have downloaded at the moment. We're, we're splitting the pot, it seems. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is like that scene of, split of, on. Of, of Casino Royale. Yeah, Dude, no. You never saw that scene of uh, that everyone has like these motherfucking good ass hands. It's yeah. like full house, <laughs> yeah. them, full house with kings. And they love this bomb comes out with extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial shit and basically obliterates the whole thing. And it's like, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. If you don't understand it, if you don't understand poker, it's like, this is some cool ass shit. But if you understand it, it's like, this is, do you think I'm stupid? Yeah. I Like, no one, ne that never happens. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Tommy says, did they have a Tommy gun? Actually, they did have a Thompson, uh, but they had just like this, it was a, a semi-auto Thompson. It wasn't a fully automatic Thompson, uh, but it had like the standard uh, magazine, not the drum. So it's, but they technically did have a Tommy gun, even though it was not like the, you know, the fully auto mob version. <laughs> it wasn't that because that's I, illegal. <laughs> or as I like to call it, the Chris Farley version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, see. Um, has, Jake says, uh, "Have you watched Hasbro Hotel?" Yeah, Hasbro Hotel is actually really good. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I've, I've watched it too, and you know, yeah. it was a pleasant surprise. Like I remember first seeing stuff about. It. I just remember like the first thing I like I read about it was like some guy was getting like clowned on for spending fifty k on a Hasbro Hotel animation. Oh yeah, that that weirdo. And then he was talking about being broke after yeah. that, <laughs> and it's like, gee, I wonder why he wasted fifty k <laughs> on a fucking animation. Yeah, that's just. That's just sad. Uh, but then Alistair after, easily our favorite. <laughs> my man. Yeah. My man. <laughs> yeah. Both Kane and I agree on that. We both like Alistair the most. <laughs> He's just the <laughs> goat. The, the radio demon. Exactly. Well, not just this because I was from radio, radio. I also like his personality. <laughs> He's just a little gremlin. He just like enjoys yeah. watching people I, suffer. I like That's your, what I love. Yeah. I like you to move. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's just like with All the right. Fallout TV show. I think most people's favorite character is probably the ghoul. I mean, yeah, like Maximus and Lucy are good too, but my favorite is probably the ghoul. All right then, Red, get your dancing shoes on for this one. 
Yeah. Oh, 96. Okay, okay. You, see, you like you like <laughs> Angel because I, you're also gay. I don't know if Angel's Angel. I think is just bi. I think Angel just fucks anything. <laughs> anything with a pulse, they fuck. Yeah. I I think they're. I would say they probably lean gay, but they're they're also what a porn star in hell or something. So that they pretty much fuck whatever they're told to fuck. But oh shit. Anyways, this enough has been hotel talk for now. <laughs> Because, like, Ray and Yuji are like, what? <laughs> God damn it. But, oh, <laughs> that's So, funny. in the end, we both lose. L. <laughs> like, we had three eights and we still got the L. That sucks. Yuji's just right. like, he's just having Guys, a pint. I'll drink, I'll drink to that. Let's say you're on round 14. Okay, Jordan. <laughs> But look, oh, man. Riley, I got to thank Riley uh, for Hasbin Hotel because she's into Hell of a Boss and she kind of got me into Hell of a Boss. Hell of a Boss is okay. I, I think the first season's decent. The second season's not as good. And you only get new episodes every now and then. But obviously, Hasbin Hotel is way better. And that's just my opinion about it. Like, why people has like, these... Yeah, they, like we have to twice that fucking scene of Casino Royale with two people having like the best fucking cards. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I got this. When yeah. later on, yeah. usually with eights and sevens. Like, you know? the, the thing is, until you pulled out that next card, Red, I had something that was so good, and then it just fucking died overnight. That's the way poker goes. You can win with a bad hand, and you can lose with a really good hand. That's just the way it yeah. is. It's like, oh, I have a crappy hand. I only have like, like two fours, and you still win somehow because everyone else had worse hands. But then you have an amazing hand, and then someone else just happens to have a better hand than you, and you're like, damn it. Yeah. That's what I love about poker. I love a good gamble. Now, Adam, Adam was a dick. I hated Adam. I think that was kind of the point, though, of, of Hasbin Hotel. You weren't supposed to like Adam. But still, hopefully they have a second season. Hopefully it ends up being good. But yeah, I'll probably do a review of the Fallout TV series because I, I really enjoyed it. Like, I'll, I'll say this. You know, it's not perfect like Red was saying. But I feel like the team behind uh, the Fallout TV series, which was the same team behind Westworld, which had a really good first amazing season. The second season was okay, and then it just went downhill from there. And I think what Christopher Nolan's brother is involved with it. But there, there have been... Worse video game Jesus adaptations. Fuck. Oh, fuck. We've just got fucking yep. annihilated. Enjoy a flush, yeah. boys. This dude just dropped a nuke on us Get and just like, ran off. <laughs> yeah, like, he just fired I, a fat boy I mean, at look us. Up he there. Just did. I mean, look up there. Somebody had to have a club, right? I mean, there's four fucking clubs. <laughs> it just happened to be me. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Leave us be, GB. I didn't, I didn't, even, I didn't even go that hard either. Like I was thinking about it. I'm like, why? Why does it matter? <laughs> what really matters is getting the dub. It ain't about the chips, Vic GB. <laughs> it's not always about the money, Spider-Man. <laughs> it's about the Mets. Maybe let's go to Mets. Yeah. <laughs> like at least on this time, it's not FCG. Yeah, yeah, we're, oh, we're yeah. this fat. I, you think I he would have been here for a poker hard. stream? I'm worried. Yeah, yeah. It's and not I mean, like fat to miss a actually... Red Dead stream. Yeah, exactly. Because he always whines about it. He's like, "Well, why don't you play Red Dead? Why don't you do Red Dead Online poker?" Well, we what are doing, we doing right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, maybe he's he's doing this thing called real life. I guess. Mm. Probably. What a crazy concept. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you think Matt Damon would be good. I I I don't give Matt Damon any sort of like. I mean, maybe the Bourne movies he was pretty decent, but he's um, not the best actor. Tommy, as as someone that was born and raised on the British Isles, I think Tommy is also. I believe Tommy's British too, so well, that's also. I concern. hope if he's also British as well, then okay, that's cool. But I'm gonna just say this: Matt Damon. 
that is, I do not hear a British man when he does that British voice. I just hear no. some American trying no, to damn sound it. British. <laughs> damn, I don't fucking know who the hell this man is. Like, pff, all I know is he ate shit. Is like shit potatoes on the Martian. That's all I know. Yeah. So <laughs> that that's sad because all I think of when I think of Matt Damon is like Team America: World Police, where his pup is always saying Matt Damon. <laughs> oh, you are American? Okay. I don't know why I thought you were British, but it, it oh. doesn't really matter in the end. We're all people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're all humans. In an alternate timeline, maybe Tommy would be British. So would GB as well, if, if things went a little different. Yeah, if, if the American Revolution would have gone a different way. It probably would Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think that what... I, look, I'm going I'm to be honest right now. As an American, I think that when you when you size up American actors to British actors, uh, British actors are S tier. American actors are maybe like B tier if we're being generous. <laughs> With a few exceptions. <laughs> a few exceptions, okay? Like, I would say like Jen Ortega. I think she's a very amazing little actress, okay? But that's, that's very rare today because most actors and actresses kind of suck. They're not very good at acting, with a few exceptions. I mean, does Keanu? He's another good American actor. Keanu. I think it. I think he's just a really cool guy. I think that's. Oh no, he's Canadian. Never mind. I'm. I'm fucking stupid. Wow. But he's, no. I'll, I'll, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for assuming, assuming his nationality. Please don't beat me up, Keanu. Don't go John Wick on me. <laughs> You know, he's still pretty good. You got the Thunder Gun? Well, GG's. Cool. Here's a cookie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have a cookie. <laughs> but what, what kind of cookie? Is it a is it a Oreo? Is it a is it a chocolate chip cookie? Is it a thin mint? Choc chocolate chocolate chip. Ah, uh, there we go. I'll give me I'll give him a mint one. Uh, hey, I, I'm almost out of my thin, Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies. I've been like rationing them. I got a few boxes a few months ago. My neighbor's <laughs> daughter was selling them, and I've been like rationing them in the freezer. I've got like like maybe like four or five cookies left. I eat one a day. <laughs> Game decided to die. Oh, I did die. No. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Fucking <you> died. <laughs> no wonder your character is just staring so intently at the cards. Contemplating their next move. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Contemplating the life of Red Dead Online. Yeah, it'll take some time. <laughs> I, I was entering to that mood since I'm seeing that scene of Casino Royale. Yeah, like who's supposed to be the next Bond? Haven't they announced the next Bond? I I no. swear, like I, I mean, I don't know who it was, but like. I, I remember seeing like a rumor a while back saying it was Idris Elba. I'm like, I, I don't know. I think I think he, I think he debunked busy. it. I think he came out and said no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he like debunked it though. That's what I was. Oh, know, it's my thinking, turn. Like, Let me check. Let me have a look. Let me see if they've confirmed it. I know or he's he's going to be voicing Knuckles in the uh, mini series that's coming up on Paramount Plus. That's probably the only thing, only real reason to watch the mini series. Because it's probably not going to be that good, but I don't I don't have high expectations from the Knuckles miniseries. It'll probably be at the same level as the, the Sonic movies. <laughs> probably. Uh, but I don't know. I just I never was a Daniel Craig Bond fan. I just are those. I just didn't care for. The direction they went with the Bond films. Yay, me, Full House! They, I, I win fifty-four to, cents. I feel special. For me, they wanted to just make it like more John Wicky. You know, that I know the guy that that, gets that's not shot Bond, though. And, and blood and, and and I hate and this is awful and. But that's not that's Bond. Like the that's like Daniel Craig Bond. <laughs> it just never felt like Bond to me. Cause yeah, Casino Royale was really good. Okay, I'll say that. But I just. Nah, I guess I guess that's like Sean Connery and Pierce Brosnan too much. 
I mean, I'll give Daniel Craig, like, some credit. I mean, I really enjoyed Skyfall and, um... Uh, no Time to Die. I thought No Time to Die was, like, you know, probably the best when it came to, like, a finale Bond film. At least in my opinion, at least. Yeah. You know, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't know, he just... I mean, he had a lot of good cars in the film, which I can give him, you know, credit for, you know? There were some cool cars in the film. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, it just... It felt off, you know? Something just felt off the whole way through, at least for me. You know, like I don't know. There wasn't like the the goofiness, you know, in some of the like from the early films. I know it's like you know probably like the different direction they wanted to go more dark and all that. But it's like Bob Bond's Bob, supposed to be like a little goofy spy thriller for like two hours, and you just you just watch him beat a bad guy, and, you know, get laid basically. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, he's just a he's an all around like badass. You know, badass, funny comments. Hitting on yeah. girls, cool gadgets, defeating the bad guy, you know? Yeah. Uh, welcome Bobby back, Red. Again. Daniel Craig won. Oh, thank you. Yes, my internet decided to die. Rip. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was, no. I was winning. I was winning! Uh, that, that, winning. that pissed me off, but you, that, that's the story for another day. Yeah. That's all I had was a bullet. <laughs> well, I guess. That's all you had. See, this is this is a prime example of somebody having a really shitty pair of winning. Because yeah. Yuji had a better hand than we did. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's poker. Come Led on, Zeppelin I, I, I biopic. I, I'm sure there's probably been a few Led Zeppelin documentaries already. I mean, they've yeah. been around for a quick minute. Mm-hmm. My dad was a huge Led Zeppelin fan. And they're all right. I mean, it's just... Uh, I guess it's a different time period, you know. I was more in, like, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Some 70s, but not as much. I like more the, the, the realistic one. The one that gets beaten and 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 all that. But because it's realistic, but I understand the other positions. Uh, like, oh, you know, they... oh, for the, the Bond one? Yeah, for Bond. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can get that. I mean, it, I don't know. It just For me, like, I, I grew up on, like, the older films, like, Connery, Barsnan, and more. I, I grew up on them. Yeah. And so that's why I was kind of... That's why I'm kind of, like, more gravitated towards those kind of films compared to the Craig films. Not saying Daniel Craig's like a bad actor. He's fucking brilliant. I loved him in Knives Knives Out, you know. But it's just for me it just if it, I don't know, if something just fell off the whole way through. But that's just me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Okay. There yeah, it's go. your turn. <laughs> Check. Check it out. Here we go. Is there any cool movies coming out? Um, what this month or this summer or year? Well, there's Deadpool free. Oh yeah, yeah, Deadpool Wolverine. Hopefully that's good. I I just hope they don't fuck it up. That's Sam here. My yeah. my biggest concern. I mean. I have faith, you know, purely just because, you know, Ryan Reynolds, he's one of the lead people on the project, but I just hope all the nasty rumors saying about how Disney was trying to, like, limit some of his control on the project, like, aren't true, because... Maybe they 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 tried, in the end they just gave up, like, okay, fine. Yeah, I I hope, I hope that's, like, the case. Here's hoping, because they haven't exactly done a great job controlling things. Mm. That's true. Yeah. Thing. Yay! Sixteen cents. You're rich. Woo! Sixteen cents. Yuji's taking the missus out for dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. With eight dollars well, to well, 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 she's already decided our holiday destination, so I might as well throw dinner into the process. All right. Where are you going? <laughs> Venice. Oh, Venice. Oh. oh. Nice. 
You know, Belfast lie, is probably actually. cheaper, UG. I'm just saying. Yeah, but you see, the problem is, if I actually ran into him in real life, I would treat him like Red and I treat him in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer and punch him. Uh, yeah. what, what are the chances of you running into Belfast Gamer in Belfast? That'd be like, <laughs> what are the odds? And I'd still say the same thing. Get the fuck away from me. And I'd just tell him, <laughs> stop camping. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jeep told me to tell you in person, stop camping. <laughs> 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 but isn't Venice having like a water issue like where they're like like it's all like lower now well like she's kind of like check she she's kind of like checking it out herself like okay. because I remember like years ago like my mother and my sister went there and they thought it was absolutely gorgeous yeah but I mean it's a city that obviously has you know been built around water canals and stuff so if, if the water level is normal, then yeah, you'll, it'll probably look nice. But if, if the water levels are low again, then it's not going to look as nice. And well, I, mean, I guess I, we'll see how it goes. I do eventually want to get to the point where I do go on some trips. Like I would like to go to Italy and see parts of Italy. You know, probably Venice as well. Mm. But I also like to see parts of Europe, parts of uh, England and Scotland and Ireland. But then there's also other parts of the world I don't want to go to. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, some of them are very, very extreme in their ideologies. I think I'll avoid yeah. those countries like the plague. <laughs> yeah, authoritarian <laughs> regimes. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, political or religious, like, nah, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. I, I like my head where it is, you know. <laughs> all right so we so what was the top one of the topics we were on about earlier was like films coming out later this yeah, year yeah right? movie films all right so uh we got the garfield movie coming out next month you guys excited do. for that with chris pratt as garfield I just, I just don't care god uh what else is there bad boys 4 ride or die you know you know why yeah. because will smith you know needs to make himself relevant again Yes, ride or die. Well, he's ride or dying on this film. So, some of the, it, these we'll projects save, that we'll he's been doing career. lately, or some of the projects he's working on, would not happen if it wasn't for that slap incident. True. <laughs> yeah. These are acts of desperation by a man trying to rebuild his career. Like all the, right. the game and all that stuff, it kind of just make commercials like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finally, a, a good film. Um, All right, like, Deadpool and Wolverine. Cup. Yeah, that's like the movie most people are excited about is that one. Hey, don't forget, another film we're all excited about, guys. The Borderlands movie. Let's go. Borderlands yeah, movie. Bad casting. <laughs> that's amazing. Look I, I, look, I like Jamie Lee Curtis. I like uh, Kate Blanchard, but I just think that that's just bad casting. Yeah. We got... Craven the Hunter. No, so we gotta who cares. Uh, what else? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah, look, okay, so okay. That? that one oh, I'm okay. actually excited about because I love the original Beetlejuice. So All I'm, right. actually, I'm so, actually excited about that one. And so oh, yeah, the, uh, I still need to get Riley to watch old. Beetlejuice because Beetlejuice is awesome. Just so they got like the original actors from up. the film in it. Yeah, uh, Michael Keaton's coming back as Beetlejuice. They even brought back one on a rider. And they brought back, uh, what's her name as, uh, let's see, uh, Lydia's mom. Oh, and, and once again, Jenna Ortega's in it. So another reason to watch it. Oh, shit, sure, I just noticed. Will the Foes in the film. Okay, I'm watching it. Will the Foes in the fucking <laughs> film. <laughs> oh, yeah, William the Foes also in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, I'm interested. And, and they're, going, they're going back. Uh, Tim Burton's going back to practical effects instead of relying on CGI. So there you oh, go. Nice. Um, Transformers One. That's another film. I, I actually, I actually feel positive about Transformers One. I didn't even know it existed until the other day. Like they they went with a whole funny arc in the trailer, but it does feel like they're trying to be true to the origins of you know Optimus and Megatron. All right. And so because you know they go by their their original names, you know. Uh, which was Orion Pax, and I think what D sixteen, and so that 
that has potential to be good. I mean, I know there's a low bar, a very low bar when it comes to Transformer films. And it's actually focused on the Transformers, not stupid humans. <laughs> so that's another positive. Oh, dear. And I think the All main right. antagonists are the Quintessons. So, so I, I do feel like that whoever wrote the movie actually bothered to go do some research about the lore and the history of the Transformers. <laughs> so it might be decent, hopefully. Okay, so another film on the list. Untitled Saw sequel, so it's basically a Saw film with no name. Yeah. Thank you, Rotten Tomatoes. I heard that the, <laughs> nope. the, the, the new Saw movie was actually good. The one yeah, Saw 10 was... The, the prequel? It's really, yeah. it's really fucking good. I, 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 I went in not thinking it was going to be good, but it was actually genuinely surprising. And the traps are very, very like interesting, like yeah. the way they are. Especially one of them, I'm not spoiling it, but it's very fucking brutal, one yeah. of them are. I'll, I'll watch it eventually. But it's so weird because the, it's like history is repeating itself because we had this time period where we had a Saw movie coming out almost every year, right? Mm. And it's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the hell? All right. So, another film. Joker 2. Oh, I just don't care. Mm. I just don't uh, I'll care. probably, I'll probably watch it with some IRL friends. But I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't like the idea of a, a musical in yeah. like a in like a, <laughs> a hero film. With the Joker. Yeah. Oh God. You yeah. know the same guy who blew the brains out of a talk show host just because he was getting made fun of. Yeah. That guy. I'm sure he's a relatable and nice guy. <laughs> I think. I think it's all gonna be. It's gonna be a repeat. I know this is gonna be a, a kind of a spoiler for Joker. So if anyone hasn't watched Joker yet, well, I'm sorry. Three, mm. two. One. Okay, so a lot of it's like unreliable narrator point of view from Joker, uh, Arthur Fleck. Mm. And he, yeah. ha he has a fictional girlfriend based off of like a real neighbor. But it turns out she wasn't really into him. But he created like an imaginary version of her. And I think that's pretty much what's going to happen with him and Lady Gaga, Harley Quinn. Is where it's just going to be his <laughs> unreliable narrator again. And he's going to imagine this version of Harley Quinn. That's not even real. But there's actually going to be like a Dr. Harleen Quinzel that's treating him. <laughs> yeah, so, so we got the movie, ver like we got the imaginary version of Harley Quinn. And let yeah. me just uh, do a funny real quick here. Yeah. Um, so we got imaginary Harley and then we got real Harley. So we got two Lady Gagas for the price of one, boys yeah. and girls. <laughs> so I think that's the way it's going to be. He's, he's going to be introduced to... It's going to... Nice. I, I I just see it going yeah, that way. Thank you, thank you. And You're I don't. Welcome. And I I know people like our Lady Gaga. She's okay, but I just don't. From the trailer, she didn't exactly impress me. As a I'm not Harley exactly Quinn. sold on her being Harley. Me either. Nah. Like whereas like someone like Margot Robbie, for example, I I was sold on her being Harley. Yeah. You know when I watched the first Suicide Squad trailer. Yeah. Even if the film was shit, I was still sold. Yeah. You know. So, uh, and, uh, we also. Mm -hmm. Anything else? But speaking of shit films, Venom Free, boys and girls! Oh, boy. November! The bar can't go amazing. any lower. Well, yeah, I mean, it, uh, it's rumored that they're gonna get, like, Topher Grace back for this film, so who knows? Maybe it won't be bad after all. They'll get the worst live action Venom with the best live action so Venom. It's gonna be Venom versus Venom. I mean. That's some of the rumors. You know what? Let me just get all my money out of here. Let's just get rid of my chips. You filthy Max better. <laughs> yeah, you guys can have it. I don't need them. Wow. Uh, I think this in December there's um, Lord of the Rings, yeah. War on whatever it's called. I may watch the Rohirrim. Yeah, I may watch that because that's a prequel. Uh, it's during the time. Like 200 years earlier All right. with uh, King Helm, who built Helm's Deep. Mm -hmm. I might go watch that. All right. I haven't seen any trailers for it, so I don't know what the animation is like, but I'm kind of interested in that because I love the Lord of the Rings movies. So. All right. The, the, Amazon, then, uh... the Amazon series can fuck off, though. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. <laughs> He's not letting that go. No. I'm not. And to. Uh... To end 2024, we have Sonic Free. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, that that's yeah, that's the uh, the list I could find that was good. Circling back to Keanu Reeves, like I, I like Keanu Reeves, but I just don't get why we have to cast him in everything. I just don't. Whatever. I mean, uh, maybe he'll do a good job voicing Shadow. I I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, in my head, Canon after playing Cyberpunk now, I hearing Shadow swear would just feel natural to me now. <laughs> Yeah. It won't feel unnatural like it was in Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, it's gonna be like, wake the fuck up, Sonic. We have a city to destroy. Oh, there you go. You got to per- you, you go Yeah, you've done it again. I'm Wait. back in the business. Nice. <laughs> minutes is getting longer and longer. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ! It's getting longer and longer. Yeah. I'm, I might go stupid like stupid disconnection. Yeah. I, I guess maybe it went maybe sometime this week. One day when Riley goes to flight school, I might go watch Civil War. I've been wanting to go watch it. Oh yes, oh, funny the, enough, the, the we were talking girl. about that earlier while you were gone. <laughs> yeah, when you were, yeah when you went AFK, we were talking about the amazing masterpiece of Andy and Go. That is yeah. like n- nothing more canon than California and Texas joining together. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to make too much sense, especially. With the fact that it seems like Arizona and New Mexico aren't part of the alliance, like that, that I meant on the political channel, which I, you know, I post a video every once in a while now because I don't care as much. But one of the, one of the topics I have been covering is civil war, and it just doesn't make sense to me. Like I, I can see like a faction like the Western Alliance, but you have to have more states than just California and Texas. There's a, there's like two in the middle. You know, they, yeah. they kind of need to be part of that alliance for it to kind of work. But, okay. It's still kind of, like, weird, though. California and Texas working together. Like, if, if yeah, this is, like, a, a a film set in, like, the modern era, right? Yeah. Here's the thing. It would make sense if it was, like, in, like, the 70s or 80s. Because back then, they used to be very, like, in terms of their political views, they were somewhat shared. Yeah. You know? Well, Between I, them. I think the whole premise is this. It's, like... Because if you watch the trailer, the trailer basically gives almost everything away in the movie. I'm, I'm willing to bet. Yeah. It's a, it's basically about a tyrannical president that's been in office for longer than two terms. And finally, some states have had enough, you know, including California and Texas. And that's what I guess is the uniting factor where they put aside whatever political differences they have, you know, to rally against this, this president who's obviously in violation of the Constitution. And apparently the, the the president is bombing cities or some shit. <laughs> Damn. So grow and fucking fallout president. I, I know, but I, as my intention, all out. <laughs> I do want to go watch it, and then I'll probably put a review of that on the political channel, as as my final, Amazing. the final civil war video over there, regarding this saga. So then I'll, I'll give you all my, my opinion about it. But I think first I'll, I'll do a Fallout review. <laughs> yeah. I think it's worth it more than, you know, that. Yeah. I thought it was like one of those ap- apocalyptic movies, like, tw- like 2012 or... No, it's not. It's, it's very... They're like, just dumb as fuck. It's a lot more grounded. I guess Alex Garden's a lot more grounded than, than those guys that did the 2012 Independence Day movies. <laughs> But yeah, I've heard I've heard some good things fun. about it, but I still can't get around the whole like Texas like uh, California alliance. It just still doesn't really make too much sense to me. But okay, yeah. The, the, the NCR exists, and isn't that movie? Yeah, the NCR with with the <laughs> with their awesome flag, the yeah, two-headed you know, grizzly with the two, bear. With the two- yeah, and I'll say that I mean it. It is really cool whenever you see the the NCR flag and in the Fallout TV show, and you hear the Fallout theme playing in the background. That was cool. Yep. Good old NCR. Yeah. Oh, do you have it in two movies now? Yep. Right. But I, I completely passed on Ghostbusters because I heard so many bad reviews for it. Like, non-spoiler. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm tired of those fucking, uh, like, ads of damn Ghostbusters. It's like, stop. Yeah. I'm not interested. 
<laughs> I keep getting... No, shut up. I like that. Oh, sorry, it's like that. It's, it's all it's the so times. Good, it's like that. It's like all the times that you hear that stupid ad. It's like... Nin, 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 nin. No one cares. Go skip. It's like... <laughs> I keep getting similar ads like that, but instead it's like on product placement. Where you just see like a bunch of ghosts attacking like Arno like some some crisps or like a or, or like a you know a fizzy pop or as everyone you know else calls them like you know chips and yeah. uh, soda. In the you US, just it's see a... like a you just see a bunch of Stay Puff marshmallows harassing like this poor bottle of this poor like you know packet of like you know edible items and it's like come on man I just yeah. want to watch the video. You know what the marketing team that's behind this is just using like copy pasta because. They have a similar one in the U.S. for Liberty Insurance, which is one of the insurance companies in the U.S. Yes, is that and, one I'm talking about? Yeah. It's so awful. Oh, yeah. I hate God. it. So it's obvious they're just reusing it every... Like, okay, this time we'll use it for them attacking, uh, like, some like what, what Kane was talking about, or attacking the, the Liberty Insurance car. <laughs> like, okay. But I just... As a Ghostbusters fan, I've just had no desire to watch Frozen Empire. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Hi, Ben. Fuck How's off. it going? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'll get around to watching it. And I'm, I might do a video on Ghostbusters once I'm once I watch Frozen Empire eventually. I think the next time, if I ever hear like the Ghostbusters theme song, I'm just gonna have Red's voice in my head going, "Fuck off." <laughs> Oh, or his cover of it where he's like <laughs> it's it's all, all the times you hear that and it's basically an advertisement for an insurance it's like yeah. I get out of here I, I, I got that ad like four or five times in a row when I'm listening music of my office yeah. and it's like stop please yeah. Okay, Red, th this this might make you feel even worse, but if you were here in Ireland, they they would play an ad like that every three minutes. Yeah, it does oh get annoying. They just, they just overdo it on ads. Mm. Like, I, I will just say this. Oh, these programmers! Stupid programmers! Let's see, R Riley says, I literally have the same complaints about the Liberty ad. F off, yeah. Yeah. I agree, Riley. Oh, by the way, uh, Riley, uh, she is uh, streaming tonight. I know, crazy world we live in. She's actually going to do a live stream tonight. Ooh. So she's going to be playing oh. some Fortnite uh, about four and a half hours from now. I think that's right. Or is it five and a half hours from now? 8, 8 p.m. Central there. <laughs> there you go. You can, you can she, she's been kind of busy so. with uh, flight school, so. But. She doesn't want to stream. Do she wants to try and stream every once in a while still. <coughs> there you go. Triple sevens. Boom. Well, ah. God damn it. Fuck's oh, sake. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, 16 cents. Right I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> How much money you have, Kate? Oh, 64 cents. Like, All right, you know what? You have you know been what? surviving uh, for a while now. You, you have, like, let's, those cents go, like, <laughs> being together. Let's, let's, let's do a funny when it's my turn. Let's yeah. do, like, an iFunny meme. Uh, let's see. Ben, lurking because, goggles on. Like, the, uh, the, the, Ryan and I even do it early. Okay. I mean, if you want to stream earlier, that's fine. But obviously, we need to go get something to eat first. <laughs> Can't stream on an empty stomach. Yeah. Like it's it's funny because like like Kane has been under a dollar for I think all the damn like for <laughs> almost forty five or fifty minutes. It's just not his and day for He Parker. has been survived hard. Like he has been survived hard. That that those hey guys are holding together. <laughs> Gonna, you want to see something funny? What you're gonna do? Sixty? No, you you yeah, filthy stinking oh, Max Bell. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I, yeah, I know, I'm not gonna play that. Oh, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, fuck because it. it's gonna be one of those games I know, that is gonna know, be all, all <laughs> fucking luck. It's right, funny. Let, let's see. Let's see who hit wins this whole two dollars. Well, almost two dollars. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I swear to God, if he's if Kane's if Kane wins, well, I'll just I, check out of curiosity. I'm gonna I'm gonna be pissed if I win. Uh, thoughts on. <laughs> Uh, Tommy, didn't you ask about that the other day? Like, 
Look, I believe in innocence until proven guilty, but for the FBI to raid his mansions, that's not exactly a good sign. Like me, what I when I do nasty things. Yeah, a little. If he is guilty, then I hope he gets what he deserves. So Get what you fucking nope. deserve. Yeah. So oh, ace, ace high, okay. Okay. and GB, what well, you got? Who's dying? Ace high. Wow! Oh, well, I, you I, I, I guess it paid <laughs> off for you, Dan. It gave you no. no life. I just wanted to. I wanted to get out of here. I wanted oh, to run away. But Kane, you can't get out. No! You're stuck here forever and ever and ever. So now, even if so I die, GB's I come back. Oh, you daughter. don't get to die. <laughs> no. So now, so now GB's under a dollar. So yeah. who, who yeah. will be under the one who's that next? That lose hey. everything. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh no, GB. I'm gonna lose five dollars in this game. The horror. GB, you got a max yeah, bet, no. man. I'm, you I'm win not so a, much money. I'm not max betting. I'm going down slowly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, what is gonna be with you? With, you have to grind the game, man. Yeah. You lose five bucks. You're like, oh, on, no. Man, you, got, <laughs> you gotta do those uh, stranger missions, man. You'll make like loads of money from them. Yeah, tons. I, yeah, I, you... I think I'd rather not. <laughs> Kind of hard to feel motivation to, to grind the game anymore when you, you pretty much have everything that the game offers. And, and they haven't had all the content since 2021. And, and, and the uh, camp. So I don't really have any motivation anymore. Yeah, you are the pretty much the richest guy on this table. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't so. know about that. I don't know about that. Well, not saying about the thing. Not, not saying about GTA, the you're like, you're I'm saying you're saying about the uh, whole... Well, because I cheat on it, because I hate the game. But in the, but oh, in this not game, about, I'm not about Red Dead. In Red Dead, you are quite the one that has more money, unless I'm, I'm wrong, trying to because pull I don't my, care. My mount. I'll look in a little bit. I think well, I, have, I, I think I have the more, most gold. You're the one with most gold, I guess. Uh, like, gold especially gold. if you stack my if you stack my gold on like Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, I have like way more gold. Yeah, you turn yeah, into I'm... the Federal Reserve. Yeah, I know. I, know. I, just, yeah. I just wish I could, like, like exchange it for real gold. I'm like a real brokey <laughs> compared to all you can start, accounts. You can start your own currency if you if you start. There we today, go. If you manage to get GB all coin. together. Yeah, GB coins. Yeah, that, I promise they're, they're better than Capitale. <laughs> Trust there me, bro. Capitale, yeah. <laughs> Don't use the Capitale. You got to use the GB coin. Yeah, are, are the shark yeah, coins in GTA one. 6 online? Mm -hmm. you, sure. you know there's going to be shark coins. You know that. Yeah, there's going to be some crypto crap on GTA yeah, 6. Yeah, instead of shark cards, it'll be shark coins. And they're going to do this whole crypto bullshit. That's some ca right. crap telly, GB. And they'll get away with it because satire, man. You'll satire, dude. Yeah, th thanks, came for the Capitelli in the live chat. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome, man. Mm -hmm, Fucking Capitelli. You're gonna be balling in no time, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guido Martelli said we're gonna be rich. So we're gonna be rich with those. <laughs> oh, oh, look, more Capitelli from Red. <laughs> Yay. Oh, bro. Boys, go. we are flowing in the Capitelli <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, no, oh you more cheat. Capitelli. Let's go. All, right, all, all members, look, I, th throw out your Capitelli look, I, now in the live <laughs> chat. I have enough toilet paper in my house. I don't need Capitelli. All right, I'm throwing my Capitelli <laughs> on the table too. There you go. <laughs> yeah, boys, we're rich. There you go. We're, we're, rich, we're flexing our Capitelli. That's right. <laughs> Smoking that Capitelli pack. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Capitelli. Mm. Yeah, that shit was a we joke like, day one of blood money. Like, yeah. so why do you need four currencies? I know. Like, in this game, there is the normal money, yep. the gold, and uh, the tokens. The fucking roll tokens um, that make no fucking sense. <laughs> I still have some of them. Me too. I got tons of them. <laughs> like, why? why? Like, how hard is it just to allow us to unlock something before we can buy it? Why do we have to also use tokens? It's so fucking yeah, stupid. Like, like it's so like I never understood that like that 
that logic of, yeah, you have to have some good old tokens. And so you are able to buy the thing with, with cash. It's not like, why just not unlock, buy it with the fucking tokens or just make it unlockable to a certain level? Yeah. Like, the tokens doesn't make any fucking sense. All right, so fine, I'm all in. You won 90... <laughs> No, you won 96 cents. Oh, okay, Eugene. Let's go. That's, that's let's go. I had no choice. The game told me to go all in, so. I'm like, fuck it. Here's 70 yeah, cents. What like... to do? Let's get our dancing shoes on for this one, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Oh, we got a side oh. pod as well. I Ouch. told you that. Uh, that's why I went. I went King out. High Straight. And that, was a, that was a bad fucking deal. <laughs> Red Star right through deal. me. <laughs> Yeah, like, L's, like when I saw the 96. Get the L's for me. Yeah. Went broke as a joke. Yeah. All right, you guys want to keep playing or you guys want to wrap up? I um, think. Fine, whichever. All right, I'll, I'll, you know what, yeah, fine. You know what, I'm, go I'm going to pull out another five because I only have $184,000 in this game. Long, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm barely cool. surviving here with only $184,000. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so I guess oh, I'm sure. I am the richest when it comes to cash. Wait, how much do you have how in cash? Uh, two hundred thirteen k. Okay. Like, I, well, I mean, I, it I briefly still... showed how much gold I have. I don't have a lot of gold in this game, but I still have no, no idea. Wait, how no, I, I still think Fat have has that the most much. cash, right? He has the most cash in the game. Well, out of the four of us here, I have the oh, most. Oh yeah, out of but the if four, Fat right. was here, then uh, that man, he's basically like you know. He's like he just grind rich as hell. He's, he's Jeff. He's Jeff Bezos. Mm -hmm. He is. I know. When it comes to that kind of money, and he always blames me. Like, thank you, GB, for for showing me Red Dead Online. Don't don't blame me. It's just like yeah. Icarus blaming me for Fortnite. No, don't blame me. Blame Riley and Kane. <laughs> I'm passing the I'm passing the Capitelli on to them. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> no fault was a great video. It is. It is it's the greatest video of all time. It's the most infamous video of all time. <laughs> Hey man, that it, it's a very good nature documentary on how bullying actually if works yeah, in the peer society. Pressing, yeah. It's very effective. <laughs> yeah. See, big break. Yeah, you know there there are. I do like fiction. I don't know why, but I've always had this obsession with fictional brands and games like Mafia, GTA, Red Dead, Fallout. I, I don't know what what is the fascination with fictional brands. I guess they're all just satire of of real life versions. But see, so Carter says, "Don't remember how much cash I've had somewhere not nine hundred gold." See, then again, there wasn't a ton of use. Yeah, I mean, they they made the mistake of not adding more gold stuff. R Riley says, "I regret regret nothing about Nut Fort." I know. It was that was the best thing we ever did, Riley. <laughs> wow. There you go, 16 cents. Yeah, I finally won. There you go, win is a win. <laughs> That's right. Maybe fair, I've had a few wins here, but I did bust right a moment ago, so that was sad. Oh, well. You know, you know we're not really taking the game seriously. Yeah, no. exactly. When you, yeah, that's true. I just want to go broke, man. Well, I think, I think it'll happen <laughs> yeah. soon. It's not even letting me go broke. Every time I'm close to going broke, it just says, "Hey, Kane. Hey, hey. Stay I see you're down in your longer, luck. Partner. Have, 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 have like two bucks, so you're still yeah. on the table." <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're yeah, almost they... broke. Nope, you're not leaving this table. Nope. Yeah, oh, they are not done yet. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm gonna just play normally for this round. I don't want to max bet any, yet. Is there any games coming out that any of you are excited about that we know of? Star mm -hmm. Wars Outlaws looks pretty good. I love spending two hundred dollars <laughs> on like a game. That's very epic. Oh, yeah. Hell yes. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> games. Like, nothing. As a Ubisoft yeah, game to be precise. Like yeah, yeah. Another like, like, like another Ubisoft, Ubisoft win. win. Is it? Is it like? Uh, a 5A game? Oh. Like, that's what I'm hearing, the reports are. I'm, I'm sure you'll enjoy it just as much as you enjoyed uh, X Defiant. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, okay. that, that, that was me. Like, I saw a few videos, and I was like, this is me as fuck. <laughs> you know? Like, there is one that basically the guy shoots the hell out of it to another player. 
and they and the damage doesn't read up <laughs> and he gets killed by the same get by the same dude that he was shooting it yeah I, it's so unstable and bug shit like uh, i'll admit i did not like the actual flow of gameplay when playing it but just playing it with bounty and riley was enough to make me want to install the game just so we could have fun. Um, but... I have bad news for you. Uh, Riley is not playing that game. She okay, deleted good. it after last night. She, like it, It's a similar story to what Red was talking about. She was almost about to kill this one dude, but then he used an ultimate to get like up to 200 health and then killed her, and then that just pissed her the fuck off. And Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Ben says, uh, Ubisoft moment. Kari, uh... Yeah, never buy Ubisoft games day one. I agree. There we go. I don't want a fucking heavy discount, and when I heavy, when I mean heavy, it's like two dollars, like that 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 type of heavy. Yeah. You know what? Let's get rid of my money. There you go. Just throw, throw that throw that away, Max. Better. Like I can wait to see the full house. <laughs> that the chain is gonna drop. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw down thirty eight cents. I, I'm not. Go. I'm not even confident in this hand. I'm uh, fucking terrible at poker. Wait for it. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, not yeah there's no way that's that. Yeah, there's no way. Ooh, we split, we split the pot, Red. Look at us. <laughs> no way, I'm getting out of there. This must yeah. be how like the Powerball winners feel when they each win several hundred million dollars. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I finally went broke, guys. I did it. You broke the like a joke. challenge finally done. Uh, Riley says, "X to find Tommy, never to buy or look at any Ubisoft game ever again." <laughs> like. Ubisoft products are dog shit. Like, yeah. why bother? It's just... sad because they were like, like these three, like Kane, Riley, and Bounty last night were both reminiscing about how X Defiant was promising a few months ago when they last played it. And now it's. Not only that, but uh, also I was very angry when I saw the rabbits in the game because I was like, those little fucking bastards are the reason why we never got a new Rayman game. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're obsessed oh, with the they... fucking rabbits. They've what did two like Mario games oh, with rabbits. Nintendo? Yeah, the the Raven Rabbits, I think they're called. Like yeah, they were the in rabbit. one, they were in one Rayman game, and yeah. since then they fucking it's like, leached their way through. Who knows what? They were the original minions. I yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. They're minions. like Ubisoft's version of minions. Exactly. <laughs> that too. It's like the fucking yes, they're fucking minions version. It's like yeah. they're annoying, but they appear <laughs> everywhere. They are like super obsessed, I like know. With, the, with the fucking bunny shit that they have, like the deformed ones. It, they appear everywhere, even even in fucking games that uh, doesn't have anything to do with them. Yeah, like That's what I'm saying, man. Like, why the fuck are they in a Mario game? <laughs> like, yeah. why? Because I guess Nintendo is. It's one of those rare situations where Nintendo actually has to deal with somebody else, and of all people, it's Ubisoft. Yeah, with so, Ubisoft. So strange. Wow. So Ubisoft peaked during the PS2 era, but I don't know. I mean, they've they've had some good games after that. I mean, like Black Flag was really good. Um, Watch Dogs was okay. I mean, I mean, Could have been better. Far Cry, drive, Far Cry 2 and 3 were pretty good. Yeah, but... so I mean, there, there's been some decent Ubisoft, but they've gone downhill since, obviously. I mean, my favorite part of Far Cry 2 is where, for the entirety of the game, you have malaria, and you have to keep <laughs> taking pills every few minutes. Otherwise, you just die. <laughs> Rip. I have, I have something to say. I was confident on it. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, yeah. Uh... Train Simulator has a subscription now. Isn't like Train Simulator expensive as hell if you like buy all the expansions and DLCs? It's like The Sims. Yeah, it's like I super never... expensive. Just just go to Steam and try to buy The Sims with all the fucking DLCs. Yeah, screw it, that. Like at that point, at that point, just make your own business and make your own damn fucking Sims version. Like, that's why so I want to make some sort of like, like simulator game and you know make bank off that. Like, the almost every, there's like a simulator for almost everything now. It's like a power washing simulator. Like, okay. <laughs> what haven't they done a simulator for? I want to I want to play the amazing game of PC building simulator that exists. Th there you like, go. Joke, no, not yeah, nine to five simulator where you sit in a cubicle all day. <laughs> 
in a video game. While we're watching simulator. <laughs> then you get a you get a thirty minute lunch break. You get like a couple bathroom breaks. There you go. <laughs> Call center simulator. <laughs> Smoke break spent. DLC. Yeah, where you get yelled at every five seconds by people on the other end. Exactly. <laughs> get yelled by intelligent AI. Incredible. <laughs> it just feels so realistic that now I need a. I need mental health. Yeah. Thank you, you. you want to get demoralized? <laughs> you play this game. Were you having a good day and you want it to be miserable? Go, go play Call Center Simulator. <laughs> there you go. Jesus. The <laughs> <I w> <laughs> Kari says Stellar Blade. Play. Yeah, a lot of people said pretty good things about the demo. So maybe Stellar Blade will turn out to be decent. Uh, System Shock remake next month. Hopefully that's good. Hellbra Hellblade 2. Yeah, a lot of people really like Hellblade 2. Hopefully they fix the server issues. As long like I, I heard about Stellar Blade and I was like a bit uh, afraid because all the fucking PR was going to big titty uh, protagonist and I was like, oh, yeah. okay, fine. You have a good protagonist. Good for you. It looks great. But what about the gameplay? And it's like, no. What? Do you mean more shots of Big Titty Lady? And I was like, no, gameplay. Okay, <laughs> Big Titty Lady then. I was like, oh, fuck. Big well, ass. As well, Cuff, get the ass. Well, here's the thing. Apparently the game is really good. And, and yeah, the female protagonist is very attractive. But she is actually based off a real-life yeah. model. Like, I guess it's the like dude's wife. wife or something. And yeah, people were just getting it. torn up about it. Like, why? So what if she's really attractive? Who, who cares? But okay, apparently the gameplay itself is pretty good. So that's what really matters. As long as that's that, that's it. Like, you know, like, we, like, it can be another Mexican telenovela like The Last of Us Part 2. No, no, I got absolute... I got betrayed. Betraying yeah. these bad boys. I, I like your reply to that one person that was trying to... I guess they're having an edgy tweet. Like, it's time to admit that Last of Us 2 was a good game, and, and you're like, no, it isn't. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it isn't. Yeah. Like, who the fuck makes the, the Last of Us Part 2 the best game of the decade? It's dog shit. Like, the whole story doesn't make any fucking sense with the first game. Nah. And, and like, everyone, like, like, nothing brings up more people than hating someone or something. And yeah. when you name the, the Last of Us Part Two, everyone just agrees that the game is absolute ass. Unless you do like Neil Druckmann's ball. <laughs> for, for the so it's the well, it's move. true though. <laughs> oh, Only I the agree. people that defend that fucking game is like, oh yeah, yeah, the Last of Us is such it's a just, good franchise. This is not. Dick Ryan Druckmann. <laughs> it's, it's just another fucking franchise that is a Mexican telenovela. That's yeah. it. Typical of Sony. Yeah. Riley, Last of Us 2's peak writing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tommy, imagine a car payment simulator. You know what would be a cool idea? Like a, like a car sale simulator where you, you basically are going to buy a vehicle, but yet you have to navigate through all the tricks that the sales guys try to pull off on you. Like someone should make that game. Because they, they try all these things... To get you to pay a higher price and these warranties I, and all this I want extra a crap. Repo guy simulator. I want a repo guy simulator. There you go, repo guy. Tow truck and yeah. just well, well, they tow, just, tow cars just go do tow jobs in a GTA. There you go. <laughs> but they, there is no people yelling at me. That's that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are threatening you with <laughs> violence? all repo missions. Are, are hiding their vehicle in their garage so you can't get to it. Yeah, Boop. exactly. Or go. Or when they when they notice, just go ape shit on reverse and crash yeah. the car, or they yeah, just get jump in the vehicle on in the when you're towing it and trying to, to get set. Right. You know, for, I, I get it. I'll, IRS let's simulator. See how it goes. I, I don't. Know, which which way it. would you go with the IRS simulator from the point of view of, of the IRS agent ruining people's lives, or the the point of view of the taxpayer having to fill out the the form or having to hire an accountant to do that for them. I love tax evasion. The scam call simulator. Yeah, that happens every day for me. And most of the time, I just don't even bother answering. Oh, another, another we both split pot. Woo! There you go. Hell One, yeah. Oh, there he is. Fat money. finally showed up to the chat. Near the end. Gaming. 
Hey, would it be funny if we just end the game now? <laughs> just exactly. Say, right, yeah. well, okay, Fat finally you showed know. up. We can we can go now. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're done. Oh. You're like, oh, Fat Chinese Gaming is here. Well, anyway, thank you guys for participating on this great live stream. And <laughs> the show is well, now done. Yeah, we'll play for a couple more minutes. But we we have been going longer than usual poker streams, but that's fine. Exactly. We're, um, exactly. we're just good goofing. combo. We're just talking shit and. Random topics and goofing off, as usual. I hate that kind of stuff. Let's see. Kari says it's gameplay kind of gameplay is akin to Devil May Cry by Nate and, and Nier. Yeah, a lot of people really like those games, so I'm sure people that like those games will probably like Stellar Blade. It probably won't be for me, but as long as it's a good game, that's what matters in the end. Yeah, as long as it's better than The Last of Us, and that's and that's easy, you know. That's yeah, that's, that's yeah. not a higher bar to to get it. Yeah, I had that game for free because my neighbor hated. That yeah, makes I remember it, that. That makes it a bit of a. You can cross that line, like it, it, like the the fact that you need to give away a game because you hate it so much is it's just a it's just a line that is really high. Yeah. So Fat says. Nice to see you guys enjoying Red Dead Online. I wouldn't say we're enjoying it. We're just playing poker. We're enjoying the company. This is yeah. like, you know... Like, we're enjoying like the, the conversation jazz, we're having. This yeah. is like the jazz music of the elevator. Okay, you okay. Know? That's, so that's we, how it we kind of enjoyed it earlier when we were at Flatneck and some random low, low rank tackled me <laughs> for no reason. And we started laughing and killing him multiple times. That was funny. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> I missed that. At one point, he oh, got yeah, sent you, to the you moon. You did miss that. No, you sh you showed up right. right when it was happening. You showed up right right after it happened. I he swear, you fired a, an arrow at him. He did. I think, he, I think yeah, Red was... missed the part where I first got tackled by the guy. But it was, I was just laughing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I knew he was going to tackle me for some reason. He just appeared, and discharged <laughs> me. I'm like, okay. He's ready. He's like, Wee! You're, you're kind of outnumbered here, buddy. But you know, go ahead, shoot your shot. <laughs> I'll give you a pat in the head for charging a three round. Players that are at a very high level. Well done. <laughs> it did give us a good laugh at the beginning of the stream, so there's that. It's true. <laughs> That's how bored Stop they were. They're like, I'm so bored. I'm gonna charge these three three players and see what happens. I want to challenge them to a fight. What what could be wrong? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. Oh, God. Yeah, but yeah, I'm trying to think of a game that I'm looking forward to this year. I'm, I guess Sea of Thieves. I mean, obviously, a lot of us are excited about Sea of Thieves coming to PS5. So, yeah. yeah speaking of Ubisoft maybe, maybe. games, maybe. poor Skull and Bones. <laughs> oh, great game! The <laughs> what is the quadruple A? I I can't uh, wait to a. to get that game when it's free. <laughs> hey, so in a few months they'll be free, man. It'll be, Just, a, it'll be a yeah. PlayStation Plus game. L looking forward. You filthy to Max, the better you. Look, this is my last game. I yeah, have to get yeah, off in a yeah. minute. Yeah, we'll wrap up after this. You know what? That's a good call. Good yeah. way to end it. Let's see. Uh, ben we says I tried the demo. Too difficult for me. I guess I don't possess the skills. <laughs> Well, the skill is it a better I, player than Snake? I, I see. Yeah. I would like to see well. Snakers right try now, and beat the demo. <laughs> he probably... Good luck. Oh. Yeah, I don't see Oh, well, GB's... <laughs> GB. Oh, my <laughs> shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Jeez, dude. I just got a nuke! I got me a little boy and a yeah. fat man! Like, Nuking us all with that full like, house yeah. to wrap it up, okay. Yeah, right. damn. All right. We like, smoke. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a way to wrap this one up. <laughs> yeah. And uh, hi, Terms. How's it going? I hope you're doing good. Hey, Terms. Yeah. Okay. L let's see if roll. let's see if another low level Randall attacks us outside of Flatneck. That might be fun. Yeah, that's he's true. Uh, yeah. CF thieves. Like the only place is that Skull and Bones had some sort of hope of building a community was was PlayStation, and yet Rare's like no. Rare was like, Why? hey, would it be funny if we released uh, CFE for PS5? Yeah, that, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, I think like, they were uh, expecting, like, 
Oh yeah, we we gotta capitalize this uh, this pirate game on play on PlayStation because Kubo and Bones is in there, so that's gonna we're gonna be rich. Yeah, and just basically <laughs> a, a few a few later, yeah, and they get fucking the competition there as well. See, last time you won in poker, dude, that, that was so last year, fat. Let it go. Uh, it was, it wasn't bullying. It was character development. Yeah, we were playing yeah. Red Dead Online with you. You kept annoying us about playing Red Dead Online with you, and we finally do, and we get accused of bullying. Hold on, it's hold just... on. I'll start, I'll start this out. Last time I won in poker, I got bullied. Hold on, let me check my wallet yes. for a fuck to give. Uh, no, I don't have one. Like, oh my god, Eugene, you're so god. right. <laughs> oh, I'm great. I like the lob. <laughs> like, you, like that's some like it's, you win FCG. You win a lot of uh, dynamite yeah. arrows on uh, exactly. You we you, we spent some time playing. You win a shotgun to the face. We, we we were just hanging out playing Red Dead Online with you, like you've been wanting to for a quick minute. And, and he shows up, and we were just skull. wrapping up. <laughs> It's not like in the end, you when you, you when you left, your corpse was basically with no tor well, <gasps> oh, no yeah. hands, no feet, and no <laughs> and no head. It was a bit awful to look at, but it's yeah. not like your character is at a, your character is cute to look at, even complete. Yeah. Oh no, I've got a one dollar bounty. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was oh, from the guy boy. that he, the low level. He, oh, like, he, that, I, he attacked me! Through. What? What the fuck, game? I was defending myself. <laughs> no There's a price on my head. Us to play Red Dead Online. Yeah. Oh shit! NPCs are out. Is that an NPC or a predator? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good too. Oh, Hopefully you are too, man. Wolves, leave me alone! I'm one of you. How could? How dare you? Horse? No, Galaxy Traveler, don't betray me! Thank you. And I don't want to shoot shoot some wolves, but you know if I have to, I have to. Do you think Ford should it's make a white Bronco anniversary edition? Why? Because AJ, OJ's gone. Okay. I mean, you could technically buy a Bronco now and just paint it white because they brought back the Broncos a few years ago. And if you want to go through cosplay, do the same crimes. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really into Souls games either, Ben. It's not really my thing. I think that's why I got really salty playing, like, uh, Jedi Outcast and Jedi Survivor. <laughs> Didn't you stream Bloodborne one time? One stream. And I failed miserably. <laughs> I couldn't even get past <laughs> the, the first part. Like a pretty rare bird you got on there. Yeah, that, that was yeah. the first. And, and I think it was, like, one of my fundraiser streams. So I was doing it for charity. <laughs> So at least it went to Getting a good salty cause. for charity. <laughs> yeah, a stress for a good cause. I, li I like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What a what a sad game this is. It, lots of potential yet abandoned. Mm. All right. So yeah, yeah. I have 155 tokens I never used. So screw that. And then nearly 1,600 bars of gold that I'll never get to use. Just on this character. Uh, I think I have. Oh yeah, I have a uh, one thousand two hundred and seventy golds on this uh, character. See, they should carry OJ's cask and the white Bronco. Jeez, that's you went hard there, Kari. <laughs> well, do you think he'll fit in the casket? <laughs> I don't know. Because he, you know, he, he wasn't able to fit the glove on. So, uh, I'm just yeah, if it doesn't fit, you to... must have quit. Exactly. Oh what is going on with this game? You're bouncing. Um, I'm, just, I'm just bouncing. I'm bouncing now, Red. Yeah, yeah I see. You're just bouncing. There you go. Multiple times. It's amazing. <laughs> this... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, there you are. It's because the, the, the shack wasn't loaded. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> like, if you bounce. get on top of your shack, the game will just start making, making it appear like you're bouncing up and down. It's so stupid. Nice loading game. I really yeah, like that. Very nice. Uh, you know, Crips, it was nice seeing you again. And we look forward to not seeing you in probably a few months from now. So, <laughs> bye, yeah, Crips. Exactly. All right, let me. I'll go ahead and go back to the main menu. <laughs>
<laughs> oh god, this game. Yeah, it's sad. I mean, I, I did enjoy playing this game. I think I, I would still be playing it if Rockstar would have actually continued supporting it, but they chose not to. So, that, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chewbacca. Now think about it for a minute. That does not make sense. Yeah, that's a classic South Park episode. I've been using uh, the whole "that does not make sense" for like my Civil War videos on the other channel. Oh, the, yeah, the PlayStation Plus collection games. Yeah, yeah, that, those were the days when I actually tried those games and never finished them. <laughs> okay, I tried. All right, so before we go, let's get everyone a chance to uh, promote uh, that channel. Uh, Kane, uh, you get to go first. Oh, well, I've, I've got a few uh, videos in the work. Okay. Um, y you know, I I've also got some, f you know, stream ideas also planned, hopefully soon. As uh, Bob and I, hopefully, when he's available, we're going to go through the Doomsday shit on the, the starting over character, finally. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> nice. I mean, it'll be it'll be Act One, so it won't be as bad. But it's still it's still Doomsday. It's still a really badly designed heist. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, we got that coming up. We got some, you know, Sea of Thieves streams coming up as well. You know, some of the GB. I'm gonna do some Sea of Thieves pirating misadventures. Yeah. You know, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, don't know what else is uh, to come. You know, at the moment, but uh, yeah. More detail to come soon, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to be playing a lot of Sea of Thieves coming up very, very, very soon. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Kari, the, uh, the stupid thing doesn't work, so I have to manually... I'll fix it one day. But yeah, check out Kane's channel. Uh, Red, what's happening with your channel? Well, well like, what happens with my channel? Well, well, maybe... If you like cars. Tomorrow, you have the live stream, yeah. I was gonna have the live stream tomorrow, so I'm I'm gonna check it out personally. What what is up? Uh, probably it's gonna be a car pack, so that means uh, I don't know. Like I think it costs like five dollars each pack, so I'm gonna buy it. And as usual, I'm just gonna review it and see what is going on. Okay. And yeah, Saturday as usual review of the car of the week that we got always. Oh uh, yeah, like the thing cool. that I do all the Saturdays. Nice, awesome. And finally, Yuji Outlaw. Well, I kind of have nothing really planned at the minute. I'm still kind of busy, like, with work and real-life stuff. But I do plan on streaming Sea of Thieves as well when it does arrive. And I did get a request from a real-life friend of mine asking me would I go through Elden Ring. And I kind of, like, thought about it. And I kind of said I'd only do it if it's a drinking stream. So oh. I might do that in the future. Yeah. I won't do it anyways. So, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but the thing about it is, like, I played through Elden Ring yeah. quite a few times. So uh, I but remember you raging. Time, I remember the the rage you were telling us about. Um, those moments, yeah. those uh, moments of uh, joy. Yeah, I might do a stream if I get to face her. That'll probably turn into a twelve-hour stream, and I'll probably be shit tossed yeah. annihilated by the time it's over. Yeah, but it'd be fun. Oh, lots of fun. Mm, for people watching, not me. <laughs> That's the way it usually goes when <laughs> when we're raging, right? We're we're not the ones that's having the good time. <laughs> oh yeah, they're else. laughing at our pain. Yeah, we're like we're like we're like gladiator. Are you not entertained, <laughs> bastards? Oh, <man. laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's my plan. Cool. All right. Yeah, well, be, be sure and check out Kane's channel, Red's channel, UG's channels. I post them in the live chat. One day I'll fix. Nightbot or go with something else other than Nightbot. And I think their channels are already linked in the uh, description section of the stream, and they're also in the uh, feature channel section as well. So, uh, guys, thanks for playing some poker with me today and all the interesting conversations we had. And everyone else that was in chat today, yeah. there, there's definitely some interesting stuff. Interesting, yes. Yeah, yeah. very, very interesting. Mm, yeah. But I hope you all have a good week, and uh, I guess uh, I'll see some of y'all for Sea of Thieves, or maybe sooner tonight for Riley's Fortnite stream. Yeah, yeah, I'll try and yeah. stop in for a minute yeah. anyway. Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. That was a fun one. All right, all right take it easy, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah, take care, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, be sure and check out their channels. 
Kane, Red, Yuji, three of my good friends. And as promised, the next poker stream will be on Xbox sometime this, I guess this summer in a few months from now when we decide to do another poker stream. We'll do one in the summer because I admittedly have kind of neglected Xbox. Even if it's just me playing against randos or trying to find a match of randos, we'll do that. But we will we will attempt to do a Xbox poker stream next time. Uh, coming up tonight, Riley is planning a stream. I know, it's crazy. It's been about a month since her last stream. She's been busy with real life stuff like flight school. But she's going to stream some Fortnite tonight, hopefully. And I'll probably be there. And a few others, hopefully, as well. So, yeah. And then you guys can ask her what she's been up to. How's flight school going? I'm sure she'll answer any questions anyone has for her. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I am going to have a Fallout Season 1 review. I don't. I was planning on working on it today. I don't know if I'm going to have time today. I will try to work on it tomorrow. And... Uh, I'll have it out probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Probably Tuesday. That'll be early access for the members, as usual, at least one video a week. And then I think starting, what, Thursday? Thursday's the 25th, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't it? Okay, so today's the 21st, right? Today's the 21st, which means... Let me look at the old trusty calendar. That means that... Yeah, the 25th is Thursday. So Thursday's when early access for Sea of Thieves begins on PS5, so I'll be playing that. I might even stream Thursday. I might do my event week video for GTA in the morning, and then that afternoon, hop into Sea of Thieves and play that for a few hours. That should be fun. But other than that, I don't know what else there is. But uh, I do appreciate you guys being here, all of you. Like uh, Tommy, Terms, Kari, Fat, Ben... Let's see who else was here today. Riley stopped by. She'll be streaming tonight once again. And, uh, oh, yeah, Jordan was here. Thanks for stopping by. Jordan, Jake, and uh, let's see. Grave Rob was here. Brian was here. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Miss Kentucky Girl was also here. So thanks for stopping by, Miss Kentucky Girl. And Dark Matter Wolf stopped by earlier, too. Hikari was here. Belfast was here. So appreciate everybody that was here, whether you were interacting in the live chat or you're just lurking, enjoying the poker streams as usual and the random conversations we have. But yeah, the next poker stream will be a few months from now on Xbox. So just hold me to that, okay? You tell me, GB, next poker stream better be on Xbox or else. Or else what? Exactly. Uh, anyways, if you enjoyed today's poker stream, be sure and leave a like. And check out Kane's channel, Red's channel, and UG Outlaw's channels, as well as Riley's channel, because Riley will be playing some Fortnite tonight, and I will be joining. Yay. I'm going to, the way I'm playing tonight, I'm just going to use the avatar abilities. <laughs> I may have like one gun, and I'm going to try and grab all four avatar abilities. So that's, that's what I'll be doing tonight in Riley's stream. Uh, hi, Bounty. Bye, Bounty. Been busy today? Okay, that's cool. Thanks for, for lurking and acknowledging us at the end. But, yeah, if you enjoyed the streams uh, and the content, be sure and subscribe to the channel. Ring ding the bell to be notified about future streams and content. Uh, check out everybody's channels that I've mentioned, all of it in the uh, feature channel section, along with the vlogs channel, You know where Riley and I post a monthly vlog. And the end of the month will be coming up in about, what, nine days from now? So we'll have a hopefully an April 2024 vlog for you. And, well, when April 30th gets here, sooner rather than later. And a big thank you, as always, to my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, heroes for April 2024, and all the members. And if you want to learn more about the membership, chant the, all the benefits and everything, click the join button. Badges, emojis, all members get uh, shout outs at the beginning of live streams. Included below in the about section of the live stream, the description section. Early access to a video a week. This week it'll be my review of Fallout uh, Season 1. And you also get uh, included on the about section. And there's other tiered rewards based on what tier you get. Elite, Deluxe, Junior. They each get different rewards, obviously. But uh, all members get included in the About section where you can also find the live stream schedule as well as links to the Vlogs channel as well as our amazing Discord community. 
And once again, thanks for hanging out with us for the poker stream. And we'll be doing the next poker stream on Red Dead Online probably in like two or three months from now, sometime in the summer when it's scorching and hot and miserable outside. Yay. But it will be on the Xbox. I promise. Hopefully. But uh, till then, uh, we got some CFDs coming up this week, and I am excited about that. So I hope you all have a great week ahead. And as always, from me to each and every one of you cowgirls, cowboys, cowpokes out there, from the bottom of my heart, as always, thanks for watching.